Welcome to the Rugs to Riches show. Grab a drink and get comfortable. The live show is about to start. What is going on, everybody? Guys, guess what I forgot to do? What's that? I forgot to send the link out to uh, all the different Telegram groups. <laughs> Get on it right now. Now's the best I time. Totally to... I'm, get, I'm doing it right this second. What so are we paying was... you for, intern? <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my I gosh. Cannot... Can't believe I did that. I'm, I'm sending them out right now. Uh, well, well right. welcome to the uh, two people that have joined us. Paul, if you're still there, thanks for uh, hopping in and being the first one to say something to us. Uh, oh, we got on? another one. Oh, we got another one. All right. We got a couple more people. I'm sending them out. I'm sending them out right now. The real ones are here. What's That's going on, right. real ones? All right. Here's a secret wallet seed phrase with a million dollars worth of Solana <laughs> in it. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> one day, one day. We got you guys one day. Uh, did I ever kind of segue into that? Did I ever tell you guys that was one idea I had? I wanted to write some seed phrases and put them in these little like kind of weatherproof capsules, go lay yeah. them around places, have a little treasure <laughs> hunt, 2024 edition. We should do that. We should do like a what are those uh little scavenger hunt? Yeah, like a little scavenger hunt. That'd that'd be cool. Yeah. Maybe we should we should work on that. Hey Zach, how's your uh zero to a million coming? It's going all right, brother. Going all right. Taking a little back seat on that right now, but uh, it's still on the table. Um, been busy chasing memes, busy losing money on Solana. So getting beat uh, up, getting beat up, getting he healing up. You know, it's looking a little better. I think it's almost all gone. But uh, been fighting, been stealing, robbing. Ch kidding, I'm just kidding. None of those stuff. Just uh, out here in the crypto markets, trying to stay alive. But uh, been doing all right. Um, how's the boat treating you, man? I heard, you know, we talked about last week, that boat you got, how's that been going? Uh, pretty good. We went out again. Um, battery, I think we were out for like eight hours, definitely learning something every time we go out there. So we, uh, when we went out, it was, it's like glass and it's really easy to, to drive and on the way back, the wind picks up and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so, have you guys ever seen that video that yeah, where yeah. The, everyone flies the, off. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I know exactly yeah. the one you're talking. That's crazy. You know that same one. I've seen a few of them, but there is that one epic. That one, that yeah. Disaster yeah, yeah for what or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes <laughs> it kind of feels like that. But I'm kind of getting used to it. My uncle sends me these little snippets because he's always, uh, he's been boating. And he's all like, oh, you'll get used to seeing how the waves, you know, move and how your boat rolls through them in different directions. And if you can so, read a crypto chart, you can read the waves. All right. Yeah. Like, you can dodge <laughs> an inch, you can dodge a <laughs> ball. That should be right a catch rate. If you can read a chart, you can read the waves. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So how much I mean, there's a lot of parallels. You got to ride the waves when it's going up. You got to ride the waves when it's going down. You got to know what's going on. Yeah. So, so how much does it cost to fill up your gas tank in that boat? Uh, it's not bad. It's uh, 40 gallons and we put 125 in. So, but it, it actually is really, really efficient um, fuel wise because it's uh, it's a brand new boat. So, um, like, I think we went out, it took us an hour to get to where we went. And on the way back, like halfway back, it said we'd use like 2% of our gas tank and we didn't even fill it all the way up. So, 2%. Yeah. yeah you're crypto when you go by percentages. <laughs> well, my, uh, my uh, gas gauge is by percentage, like how much gas you have left. So. It is. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great, man. I'm, I'm glad the boat's floating and and y'all aren't, you know, hitting the wave and going. <laughs> and then you're like, why does it say 98 percent's gone? And you see a big yeah. <laughs> trail behind you. Yeah, and you, that you put on Telegram of you uh, bouncing around in the boat. Was that yeah. going back to shore when it was real bumpy, or was that smooth sailing? No, that was that was when we first started. I lost my hat right before that. <laughs> So I was, my wife was driving and I was in the back. And uh, uh, so we have like a ski pole that's like already attached, but it's like a, it's like you push a button and it shoots up. And I was trying to show the kids that and my hat went. 
can, can I ask you something of you, a gold win? Can I ask something sure. of you that you can you can keep this to heart? Maybe. D don't buy one of those the tubes and the kids sit on the back and the adults what? go, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna flow you throw you off, and then they and then you the kids go, ah, and then they, <laughs> all right, I'm traumatized from that. When uh, I was about 14, I went on that with my one of my dad's friends. And this guy was a rugby player sitting next to me on that tube. He was like, whatever, 19, 22. I don't know how old this guy was. We, you know, sure enough. Oh, let's throw the, let's throw him off. You know, ah, dude, he jerked us. I knocked the sh out of my head on that rugby guy's head. I think I got concussed, like not even joking. And I know ever since then I woke up, I was like, I need to buy Bitcoin, all this. Anyway, but, uh, I'm just saying, man, that. That stuff I don't get. It's fun when you're going fast and everything, but when there's always that, like, okay, they've had fun for four minutes. Let's 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 traumatize and let's let them, you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I'm just playing with you, man. But be safe uh, out there with that. Uh, yeah, the kids want one of those. Too got to stand up. Ooh. Yeah, we're the but the when we bought the boat, they told us we can't have anything that like you attach the rope to. So like a tube that you you just attach it to the boat. Uh -huh. They said when people fall off, it can go underwater, and then it'll like, like yeah, jerk, jerk your boat really bad. Yeah, I bet, I bet, yeah. So, <laughs> oh but gosh. it's all good. That's it was good, funny because we, you know, our friends are like, "Hey, we see you have a boat. We want to come down." My first available weekend is June thirtieth. Look between... at you, Mister Popular, Mister Busy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mister Baseball, Mister Mister Traveling Baseball Man. Yeah, so yeah. My, my wife's looking at the thing. She's like, June thirtieth. That's your, that's our next uh, weekend off. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> a long time. Oh I know, isn't that crazy? Like we have days here and there because like she uh, she works uh, weekend shifts sometimes, so she has to re work one day, like in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So that Sunday we can go out in the boat. But for as the actual official, like we have the whole weekend off. <laughs> it's June thirtieth. You know, the, the weather's been so nice. I bet it was beautiful on Sunday. Um, you know, I'm really hoping this spring weather stays and right, we're we're past all that cold winter, you know, mess. But who knows? Maybe we'll have another cold streak here. But I think we're getting close to spring, and then summer's gonna be awesome, man. So perfect time for the boat. Great great nice. investment. Yep, yep. Well, that's that's how so Zach, tell me a little bit about the the crypto market. What's been going on, man? I heard something about open leverage. Yeah, well, you know, I was breaking news. I saw uh, recently as well that Open Leverage, a platform, a protocol. I'm not sure if they're solely on the BNB smart chain. Do you guys know if they're cross chain, by chance? No, I, I think mm -hmm. that I think they're. No, I think they are. I think they're cross chain. I think they had yeah, like maybe sure. Ethereum also maybe as an option. I can't quite you recall. Pull up, but, your, uh, pull, pull up your screen. Yeah, I'm pulling Let's it up now. Let's see. That done. I'll share my screen so we can all take a looky looky if they have what they got on their main site right now entire screen share awesome so here <clears throat> let me know when you got it pulled up you can see me yep i got it yeah so right open leverage so you know already being developed for arbitrum bnb ethereum right even the kucoin community chain um well they had some news come out that unfortunately they had a hack and uh i believe two hundred thousand dollars worth of bnb token that was a uh, protocol owned uh funds were uh, hacked and taken away. They claimed that no user funds were affected. And mm -hmm. um, and with this news, they concluded the message with that they're going to shut down and close the protocol. So that's, you know, um, you know, not a good thing. And also, you know, I feel for the, I think some people may have some funds locked right now. I don't know if everything is liquid yet, but uh, let's see if I can get in this right now. Interact, boom, boom. Yeah, it says 220 on BNB and then 40, 40k on Arbitrum. Got I'm it. gonna verify all this mess. I'll jump out of that for now. Got okay, it. so yeah, so yeah, and so with that being said, I mean, this is a protocol that's been you know around for at least over a year or two now, and right, fees generate over two million dollars in fees almost, right? They have insurance, so I think they said that's what they're gonna tap into to mitigate the the hack. But um, overall, you know, no one likes when these type of things happen. Um, this is another, you know, what I would consider a quality, you know, uh, DeFi tool in the toolbox where if you wanted to take on some leveraged or earn some high yield, right, there was a lot of options here. So what exactly yeah. got hacked? Was it just one, one like liquidity pool of that or, or the whole entire website? 
I don't uh, think I don't think they really went into it. But yeah, from the little statement I saw re released, it was very sparse in information. So they may come out with some more um, stuff coming up. Um, it but, seems yeah. like it's kind of crazy that it, it seems like it might it had to be maybe something major for them to say we're going to now shut up, shut down. I mean, oh, they're yeah. shutting down. Yeah. yeah, that's what they included the message saying like they're going to shut down and and close their their yeah. protocol. So, like you're like, like old one just mentioned, or, yeah, there's got to be something serious if if they're going to close their whole business down. They're they're not just shutting it down for temporary to fix it. They're no, it's it or forever. Yeah, they yeah. said they they said all funds are safe, and then over the next week, um, stay tuned because you'll figure out how to, you know, roll your investments back. You have to pay back all your loans within a certain amount of time. Yeah, so, uh, you know, there's people who have hundreds of thousands of dollars borrowed, you know, against their position. So, like, I like, was you know, literally this close from from using open leverage and taking a loan out. Yeah, just just to read out this announcement here on their Twitter. So the recent exploit caused a loss of two hundred twenty thousand dollars on. BNB chain and 40,000 on Arbitrum. So that, you know, don't get me wrong, that's big numbers, but when they're dealing with multi-millions, you know, it's like, I don't know. But thankfully our in-protocol insurance, OLE buyback fund and protocol reserves will cover all protocol losses. So no user funds will be lost, right? In light of this, we've made the tough decision to discontinue the open leverage trading and lending protocol. We're initially process, uh, we're initially processes for users to close trades, blah, blah, blah. So, um, Let's see. The, and then you know, they end with this. Also, the hacker will, will receive a bounty to return funds and the, and the trace and legal process will start immediately. So they are, you know, going forward with investigating this. But um, yeah, man, uh, oof, it's rough out there in the crypto streets. Like I said, man, never let your guard down. Never over invest. Right. You got to be you got to be on top of your investments. Right. Don't spread your your money too thin because you might not even hear about something like this come back in a month and say wait why do you know xyz why am i not getting the yield i thought etc so yeah um, that definitely that definitely teaches you a few things right not your keys not your crypto and also you need to stay on top of your your uh, investments right <laughs> i mean that's one thing that from being in discord you know people came in today someone's like where did stampede go <laughs> like, yeah. where did stampede go that was six months ago like where the hell have you been so do you want to hear a funny story that happened to me today? Yeah, sure. man. What, what happened? So, yeah. so this guy that I work with, he comes over to me. And I've been trying to like teach him how to do crypto. And I got him onto the trust wallet. Then I migrated him over to uh, SafePal. I got him into Elephant and I got him into Earn. Well, he comes into me to my office today. He goes, he goes, hey, um, I got a new phone. I was like, oh, cool. Congratulations. He goes, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I had to redownload uh -oh. all my, my crypto apps. Uh-oh. I'm like, so you don't have your wallets anymore? He goes, no, it's showing zero that I need to put in a something called a seed phrase. <laughs> oh, my God. So and, and I was like, I was like very calm because I didn't want to freak him out. And I was like, okay, uh, you wrote those 12 words down, right? He goes, I, I, don't, I don't remember. Maybe you wrote them down. I'm like, okay, okay, we'll, we'll go in here. So I went in and I was like, did you save them to iCloud? We go in the safe pal. No iCloud saved. I'm like, oh shit. And then I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, we migrated them over from Trust Wallet. So I was like, do you still have the Trust Wallet saved on your phone? He goes, uh, yeah, I think so. So we go into that one and it's not like there's no funds there. Mm. Because there's no, uh, it's not associated with anything, but it says you can you can do it through your iCloud. So he goes and finds it, and sure enough, it was saved on the iCloud on that on that wallet. And I was like, oh. but I, I didn't show any emotion to him because I didn't want to freak him out because he's got <laughs> he's got he's got some ch a nice chunk of change, you know. Like but I, I mean, got, AG, how can how listen? This is this is on you. No, I on you. Was, no, wrote, no, 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 no. Down, he wrote it you down. You introduced him. You're like, and then you're all like, "What about those twelve words? Did you write them down?" Well, no, you got to hold their hand. Listen, right? he wrote them down. He wrote them down. But this was this was about a year ago, so he didn't know where they were. So I had him go back, and I I was like, I went, we went back in the trust trust wallet because the one of the features that I don't like and what I like about SafePal is that it doesn't save your seed phrase. But in this case, it worked out really good. So he was able to go back in, write down his seed phrase on a sticky note, 
and he put it in his wall. I was like, bro, he stuck, stuck it right there on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, you need to you need to uh, seriously go and put this in a safe spot, like in your gun safe or something. Don't yeah. lose it. Uh, yeah, it? yeah. Okay, there's my funny story for the I, day. Yeah, I, I, it, cr- it had a great ending. That was a great yeah. ending. Um, because like I've, you mentioned, every you know, I've I've experienced similar. Like all these people, I've helped introduce to crypto, and they always ask me to some. You know, I've had that so many times happen. So, uh, thankfully, you know, usually it's able to work out just fine. But that is lesson number one, right? Is write down those twelve words and put them in a location you can get them. Um, yeah, but that's, I, that's that's great, man. I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy for you too, because it saved you some heartache. Yeah. I helped a friend, and uh, I had his wallet was a hot wallet on my phone and I never backed it up. And then I got locked out of lock. I got locked out of um, MetaMask because I switched change to Avalanche and Avalanche had a flaw and it locked me out of my wallet. So I was able to recover all of my wallets except for my friends who had 12 billion elephant. So when elephant becomes multi-million dollars or whatever, there's 12 billion elephant that's locked inside that wallet that we'll never be able to get. Cause that's a lot. What is it? There's $12 billion worth right now. Like five uh, million, about two thousand, five thousand. Tell me, two twenty five hundred or so. Because if that's not, let's not talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's more than that. Because a billion is roughly two hundred forty dollars, right? Something like that. So <laughs> times five or times twelve. I mean, just shy yeah. of three grand. Yeah, probably around that. So, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I bought him twelve billion and put it in a different wallet for him. How much did you spend to buy twelve billion? Mm, I don't remember. I mean, I just transferred it out of my wallet, so who, who knows? Uh, it Someone must can... have been really cheap then if you're giving away 12, 12 billion tokens. I mean, if it was or if it wasn't, I felt responsible because I convinced this guy to 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 uh, invest, and then I had control of his wallet, and I didn't back up the phrase because I had it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, of course I gave it to him. I wouldn't have mattered if it was 30 grand. I, I do have some breaking news already. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Breaking news. I'm blue check mark verified. Let's go. No, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I, I got my blue check. <laughs> does that just mean you does push, push that mean you just pay for it? Right? You, you hey, just hey, give. don't tell everybody. Uh, yeah, man. Like, I, <laughs> I, I bit the bull and I and I was like, mm-hmm. why haven't I bought the premium or the whatever it's called, the ver- verified thing yet? And I just looked and it's sixteen dollars a month, and I was like pay to win you know get your tweet out there a little bit farther or whatever i don't know exactly what it does you can monetize your content i was looking a little bit into it like now you'll get you know you know if you get a lot of views and reposts all that kind of stuff they'll actually um i pay you but um Hmm. you know i'm doing it more so just for the um reputation and also like i mentioned potentially it will help with uh you know spreading your tweets more so than other just the lowly people just the free users you know (laughs) <laughs> well, let us let us know if uh, paying for that cake is worth it. We'll, we'll, we'll do. Join. Man, we'll 16 do. Sixteen bucks a month is is kind of pricey. Yeah, so, it's, it's kind of so steep. Earn Crypto believes that tens of millions were lost on open leverage, not two hundred sixty thousand. Okay, That's a huge difference. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, so. I wonder if you can link something to to us or tell us like an article to look up. I'd love yeah. to pull it up. Um. Potentially, he might be mentioning two hundred twenty thousand BNB, right? Maybe that's how. No, many yeah, people. right. That's how many <laughs> I got. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, because that's. I mean, that does seem fishy. That or sus, as the youngins would call it now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I mean, surely they were making pretty good money. That all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, never mind. We got hacked one time. We're gone." Yeah, yeah that was kind of also strange my, that they want to do that. That was. My initial suspicion as well is right. They're like, it's hacked, but no one's money's lost. We're, everything's okay. And we're closed. I was like, what? You know, that something doesn't yeah. add up in that storyline. Um, oof, though, I, you know, that's not good to hear. Maybe like you said, maybe they're just trying to uh, make it look not as bad as it really is. Yeah, it's just, it's boggles my mind that they would just close up shop immediately. So, uh, What's going on with your Solana memes there, Zach? All right, let me pull up my my soul shit coins that I got pulled up. <laughs> your soul did, shit coins. Did you miss the boat? Did you join in too late? Uh, a few of them winners, few of them losses. Let's pull up my watch list. 
I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the way it goes, though, right? If you put in ten and three hit, they, they kind of cover your other seven. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's see. Don't no judges, no judging me based off where I put my my <laughs> hard earned money at. All right, guys. All right, chat. Don't be harsh on me. Listen, All if right. you if you own some slap a bitch, then we're gonna be uh... <laughs> slap a bitch. Is that something real? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> my biggest winner right now is the shark cat, and I got that like at three or four cents. So now it's at 24 cents. So that's been about a six X. Oh, that's nice. good. That's pretty, pretty W. Why is this chart so small? I don't know. Have you, are you taking any profits in or are you just letting it ride? Cause it, it's Let, just your play money. Still letting it ride. Yeah. I only put about $400 in. So it's like 2,400 right now. So mm -hmm. I'm still gonna let it ride for a moment. Just really, I think, you know, like, if, like why not pull, why not pull the 400 out? I mean, I, you know, you could, you know, there's no reason not to, I just found it, you know, my, that was risk capital to begin with. Right, so right. if like you're saying like, definitely could just book a win. Um, really, I uh, like I said, I see this as just kind of play money when I go to the, when I, when I invest in memes, like I won't even put a thousand dollars typically into a meme. Uh, um, but I like this just because look at this chart, man, you're the TA expert. You that, tell me, I, I mean, not a pretty chart or not. I, yeah, it really is. Actually, that, that looks like a, a bull flag for sure yeah so i really my thesis is is i think you know solana still has much to run you now maybe we're the middle of the cycle who knows but um my th thought process is is i'm just gonna let it as as if solana continues to have all this volume for meme coins this consistently ranks up there see it's number 15 right. today this consistently ranks in like the top 50 or 20 or so so as long as that's the case but these things are right. very volatile you see that it was at 30 cents and it dropped all the way down in one wick right yeah. so i mean I, as, you, really, as your uh, financial advisor, I suggest you pull your initial <laughs> out and then ride the other uh, four fifths of your uh, your win there. That, that's a solid strategy. Solid strategy. I won't deny that. But that's I'm trying to make up for my losses though, because I, I we were starting with the good stuff right first, right? We got to start with the good ones, the wins. But shout out to Shark Cat. Don't recommend this. It's completely a meme. It's a shark. It's I mean, it's a cat with a shark on it. That <laughs> but look at this picture, man. Right. This is what this is what crypto is about, right? This is our, this is what we're here for. I'm being sarcastic. Okay, that shark cat. Nah, yes. I got nothing else to talk about it. The one I went more heavy in is this Mew, this uh, on Solana one that was uh, shouted out. Shout out to BT. Uh, he put this on my radar, but I dropped about three grand into this one, a little over three grand. I bought around eight cents, so I'm down about you know twenty five percent or so on that. So I'm down about a thousand on this. And I just you said know, I don't put too much money, but I did put a little bit heavier on this. You um, know what? What strike was crazy about this one? You know, when BT called it out, I looked into it too. It's crazy. It started when it started. What the twenty sixth? Yeah, it's only so, six days old. Yeah, this token. So it's six days old and has forty million dollars in liquidity, and like, how, what's their total? Five hundred seventeen million. How the fuck did they get this much? So I mean, have you heard of the cabal coins where you know groups of rich people or influencers or all of it together, right? They work together to pump, you know, and make hmm. a meme coin come to prominence. And well, that's probably the that group. So What's what up? you're saying is it's money laundering. Got I mean, it. It's not it, money laundering. They're just they're working together as you know. yeah it's what can happen if there's a group of motivated individuals that are you know once again marketing and talking and promoting um so i like i said i haven't done a deep dive but it seems to be the case because like you're mentioning how in six days do they have this much liquidity this and that well um it, I is there any the way path. to sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you there is there any way to find out how what did that have at launch like what did it launch with so this is the one that I'll, I'll get one kind of FUD piece on it. So this is one of the, at, at launch, I'm not quite sure. I can't, I don't know that us back, but this is the token. If you've, if you've seen around the Twitter spaces, right? They've been talking about some guy bought $35,000 worth of this token. And he, oh yeah. And he sold $42 million that he took out worth of Solana. So 35K oh, wow. to 42 million in, in two, in three days or whatever. Right. Oh, but man. when you look into on, thanks to crypto, we look on chain it was a brand new wallet and the guy bought it within the first one minute of it being launched. So literally an, in, an insider more than likely and right, I guess who puts in 35 grand into a cat coin. Right. But unless, <laughs> unless you know, it's going to be a coordinated effort, but look at it, it, you know, it, it pumped and just like other, other tokens, it dumps, you know, crabs and for yeah, whatever right. reason, whether it be, you know, coordinated 
thousand dollar thousand soul buys or you know people yeah. this is all real on-chain money so you can't fake it um but for whatever reason it caught fire and like i said I, I i this is more of an ape of mine i haven't done a deep dive um into what you know what exactly is going on but yeah man it's flip us it's, ag flip put us on the right side that well, way when we that way when we when we click people's stuff it doesn't hide zach and this is all you need, right, to get a to get forty million dollars in liquidity, a, a one page meme token <laughs> page, right, saying you know cats are better than dogs, and who needs utility? Who needs a roadmap? Who needs anything? I wonder right? if Mew, because that was my Ethereum wallet, right, back in the day. So, or you think they're playing off of that as well? I've not heard of that particular, um, you know, that that before. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is a complete ape on my part, and like you said, it's been six days. It's already had this kind of price action so who knows what if my thesis is once again if solana continues to to appreciate so, in this bull run and has more active activity so, etc this might be one of the top ones that keeps getting crazy uh, world says they got in at 1 million so that means they're you're at a 600 x right is that what it would be or 500 you're at a 500 x did you hold this whole time crazy world it's a crazy world Hey, I, I bought the top, so good for you, Crazy World, man. Shout out to Crazy World. <laughs> That's crazy. How did all right, Crazy World? How did you how did you find this at a million? Mm -hmm. Like, were were you in a group That's or something? Let us know. Inquiring yeah. minds want to know. And, and invite us into that group, by the way. Hell, yeah. yeah. Freaking. Um, what are you drinking I, over there? Uh, I'm just drinking Dr Pepper. I I, I drank a lot yesterday. Me and mm. the me and the wife found a distillery down the road and. Am I the only one drinking right now? <laughs> I got something to drink. Yeah, yeah what you got? Hot sauce. Hot, hot sauce. Frank's yeah, hot crazy. sauce. Crazy World said he sold it at 20x. Did you sell Ooh. everything, Crazy World, or did you did you just take some profits and let it run? You should have let it run, man. What what do you what come on? You never sell everything. It, it, most of these meme coins look, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, pump and dump. So yeah. who knows? You might be. I've got one, you know, we invited shout out to FOMO. Uh, hopefully he comes on the show one day, but I've got one. I only know one guy who not on oh my, if you see his telegram, I'm ser like every 20 minutes they're like aping into this and it's a new, you know, five minute old token. And I don't know what, what these guys do. They, they put one point one soul in, they, they wait till they're up to, you know, a 20 X and they take out two soul and they just rinse yeah. and repeat. And so I guess it works for him because every day I see them just posting and oh it got rugged. Oh, that was actually good. Oh, I lost. But but I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean not, if you're only putting on in style. you know, if you're only putting in a tenth, right? You could do that 20 times if one hits within 20. I mean, that yeah, you know, but that's all you're doing researching. Money. And yeah, but I mean like, it's a different form of gambling, <laughs> different form of whatever you want to call it. Investing. Yeah. Hey, go back, go back to Mew. I wanted to look at that chart again. Mew, okay, let me pull it back up. Sorry, I was pulling up all the rest of my mess. Yeah. Six days old, crazy amount of liquidity, right? And then yeah. Bank Teller yeah. also shouted out Arthur Hayes. So shout out to Arthur Hayes. He made who a tweet about Mew. Who the hell's Arthur Hayes? Oh goodness. Arthur Hayes. He's one of the legends in the crypto world. Arthur hmm. Hayes. He ran, is it BitMEX? Um he was the founder of BitMEX. Let's see. We'll make sure. I'm not, yep, right here. He was a former CEO of BitMEX, graduating from the Wharton Business School in 2008, yada, yada. So he, he pled in 2022, he pled guilty to U.S. Bank Secrecy Act violations and was sentenced to six months of home detention, <laughs> and two years of probation, and $10 million fine. Um, just like to give you a quick background, he's a banker from traditional finance, has been writing about Bitcoin for a long, long time. I think obviously he believed in Bitcoin so much he started one of the first yeah he co-founded one of the first cryptocurrency exchanges in 2014 right um he's 28 years old um became one of the world's largest uh, virtual currency derivatives exchange and it, yeah. um unfortunately though it like blew up you know I forgot exactly what happened to it let's see what if it'll mention here quickly but BitMEX kind of fell apart and then I think I don't know if he was on the run for a while I just I'm spreading rumors right now Let's see right here. <laughs> Hayes was reported as being the youngest African American crypto billionaire in history. That's awesome. So apparently he's a billionaire now too. So, um, but long story short, like uh, I'm gonna show you an epic picture of Arthur Hayes versus another <laughs> crypto legend. This is a great picture. 
Crazy World said he just got in through deck screener. He was just trading meme coins. Wow. Nice. That's, That's legend. good 20x. Where's the S versus F? Ah, let me see. This is Arthur Hayes, by the way. Just put a face to the name. But um, yeah, like I said, he just tweeted about Mew as well. And he has a huge following because of his just years of being in the crypto space and being a pioneer and everything. Um, let's see if I can find the... Uh, no, with SVF. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so Mew is uh, my Ethernet wallet. So that was one of the first Ethereum wallets. I still have mine. Mm. It was one of my the first wallets I started. Oh, my, I gotta find my, this legendary picture. There's a picture of where Arthur Hayes, they were like at a Bitcoin conference like in 2016 or 2018. And you just see skinny SBF, like nerdy, ghoul looking guy. And they just see just Chad, freaking Arthur Hayes, like swole, like looking at them and it's like you know bitcoin max they made all these memes like bitcoin maxi versus average you know yeah. crypto bro that kind of the memes let's see if i can find it god look at that picture right there he's like Which, getting his suit ripped off of him right there oh yeah this was a yeah, iconic thanks. photo yeah when he i don't know exactly what's happening here and pulled back look at those eyes those adderall fueled eyes looking into the dark <laughs> <laughs> did you i i read this interesting thread about when he just got sentenced this last week, um, or, or I think it was last week, um, his they his lawyer literally asked the judge, "Can we give him Adderall?" Because he was like shaking or something in the courtroom, and the <laughs> judge like replied, "Like, no, I don't think it's. I can't. I can't give you a motion. You know, I can't advise you to dr give a drug to your, you know, a client in the courtroom." And everyone laughed. Like everyone laughed at him. Like <laughs> talking about kicking a man while he's down. Literally. And anyway. But uh, let's see. Hey, good call on that, Zach. You almost nailed that perfect. You said 22 years last week. And you got 25, right? Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I was just a, you know a, a guess, but it's funny. Um, yeah, it's a hate to be right about it, you know, kind of thing. But you know, it, it's Man, sentence has been passed. So, how long do you think you'll actually serve? Nah, 10 I, years probably. I, I read rumors that if it's a federal prosecution, like it, they have to serve at least 80%. So that means oh, minimum nice. 20 years. Let's um, go. So Arthur Hayes. I, I didn't I hear that. This one right here. That's, that's a new law or something? I'm going to look yeah. it up real quick. Let's see. Uh, I mean, hey, I'm a, I get all my news from crypto Twitter. So I'm just giving you all that. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why he's blue check now. That's right, blue check. That's right. Come on, show the meme. Uh, I'm trying to find this first meme before we dive into other 40 other, you know, rabbit holes. Let's see this. <laughs> That's just the SBF meme. Come on, I gotta find this epic picture of of Arthur Hayes. See, Arthur Hayes, the original king of crypto, is back. <laughs> right on house arrest with his ankle monitor. Goodness. <laughs> oh my God. It looks like a fruit of balloon commercial. In his box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Go shout out to Google Images because uh, DuckDuckGo is always slacking when it comes to the images search. See, right? I told right when I look up Google Images, it comes up first one. So <laughs> yeah, look at this right here. This is like a another iconic photo. Come on, of course, Tiffany Fong. Get out of here, Tiffany Fong. No one. Ugh. So zoom in. Thank you for your patience. Open a new tab. Come on. There we go. So like I said, like well, I wonder what year this was. Like he's wearing a Tron badge, Ledger, GitHub, Gate.io. Yeah. I'm not sure what this last one is, right? Repping FTX when it's a brand new bustling exchange. We're gonna take over the world, right? You got the FTX logo in the background, got Gate.io that's still running somehow in the back. And then he just, you know, just looking over here at Arthur Hayes, his traps bulging out of his shirt. Try to <laughs> do this, man. OTC. Sam's talking about how they're going to trade your crypto OTC over the counter into his pockets. You know. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Gosh, but legendary photo. Let's see. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's Arthur Hayes. But yeah, all this is to say is he just mentioned. Let's see if I can find the actual tweet where he mentioned Arthur Hayes. Mew. So if you guys are interested in a couple of the videos that we had mentioned earlier, they have been posted into the uh, Rugs to Riches Telegram group. We got the uh, boat one where all the people go flying out. The thing. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was their boss. That was, that was the white down for a while, whatever that is. That you know, they all <laughs> the boat, the boating one where the girls get. 
Oh, the, 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 we got pulled oh, out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so check it here. I, so I went into the kitty litter tray and found Mew. M meow, bitches. So that's what he, he tweeted. So I gotta give a heart. Pop, pop my bags. Yeah, um, right. But uh, hey, yeah. hey, hey, chat. What uh, what meme coins are you guys into? What what's been your biggest winner so far, or biggest loser, or what what's coming up? Tell us one to to jump into. Yeah, crazy. Tell us your uh, your methods on deck screener. What 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 drew you to um, Mew on launch? Right, there's we can pull up deck screener here in a moment, but you know it's just a nonstop feed of new tokens every second. So I'm curious what made him what made it stand out. Um, but, yeah, what's up? With, what's what's up with Brett Thomas? Crypto got, TN in the house. Got those. Uh, I can't. I can't. Uh, I cannot condone Brett. What is That's Brett? My, go go to uh, it. Let's go take a look. I don't know. That's my dad's name. So uh, <laughs> you and your dad don't have a strong relationship there, or something, right there. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> See if you can short it then. There you go. Yeah, right. That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is Brett? Uh, it's just a oh, meme coin on base chain. Man, I, I, I faded this so bad, man. How long? How old is this now? It's not that. Yeah, it's a month old. I heard faded, all, why? faded Brett. I, I was saying I knew about it for like, because Brett and Normie are like the two bit hottest meme coins on base. And I was like, eh. But then now it's running like a, like a madman. So shout out mm -hmm. to those everyone in Brett. Good call, good call. Let's see if I can pull up Normie. Normie. Hey, uh, Crypto TN, did you have you taken profits on Brett yet? What what's your uh, strategy? Zach's Norm up six X and still running. And yeah, and the question is, do you think you hold it until closer to uh, to December or next year, when uh, the real bull market starts, or do you what? sell it and get into a, a newer? <laughs> project that comes out i think here's my philosophy if i was up 6x i would take my initial out like if i put 400 in i would take 500 out right i you know i 25 yeah 25 percent my roi and then then your tokens are free i'm, I'm gonna put quotation marks free so if they do run up a thousand x you know no no harm no foul if they do crash and burn no harm no foul you still roi 25 percent right yeah, there's no no nothing wrong with that logic. It's a very solid way to play. Very solid. Let's see. Um, I think that's fine for me. Kind of like you were just saying, AG. I'm okay. you know the ha the nice. having is in 19 days from now. The Bitcoin having. Then we've got. Excuse me. Um, then I think we may you know, we could see a pullback in the market. That's typically what happens after the having. It isn't like oh having is here now. Bitcoin is on a run. Yeah. Right. It's, let's let's talk about that. So that's, do you think there'll be a a pullback because no one said we'll hit all-time highs before the halving, and guess what happened? We're sitting at all-time highs. Yeah, that's what this is. So, right, no two bull markets are the same, and so, like you're saying, this is kind of unprecedented us to be sitting up here at mm -hmm. the top. Um, but uh, with that being said, yeah, for me personally, and um, kind of like what to answer Goldwyn, right? If if it's risk capital that I just don't intend to touch, my thesis is like, hey, I'm gonna let it sit, let it ride. And just wait probably till October this year, see what is happening. Um, yeah, you didn't answer. Maybe I'll... <laughs> and and maybe it what? runs down and right, and then I blew up that four hundred dollars. Let's, but let's take some bets, man. I'll bet you some flamelink tokens. Do you, <laughs> do you think do you think there'll be a pullback after the having, or do you think we'll do a run up? I think we're gonna kind of just stay as. I mean, I don't know. We're we've been consolidating in the sixty nine seventy two thousand range. I think up is the next kind of step, and um. There's, you know, very little re I mean, there's, there's still a lot of retail somewhat, but not, not as much as you would think. Um, so I, I mean, I can't see anything but bullishness coming up. So I think by then, I don't know, like, you know, if in March or April, March, uh, March, April, May, if May will be a down month, but, uh, there, I don't know if you've heard that traditional finance saying, right. Sell in May and go away. Cause that typically marks the mm -hmm. height for the year in May. Um, but, uh, like I said, I I, I ride the wave each day, so I, I've you know I don't have no predictions for the okay. short term. When's the having April twenty fifth? Twenty twentieth. So yeah, I mean, four twenty. Four twenty. Oh my gosh, you you can't. <laughs> that's so rigged. And, and right, Bitcoin will be at sixty nine thousand probably on that day, <laughs> probably on the Mars. 
Probably. Okay. Uh, so here, here, hey. Here's my bet. Here's my bet with you. I'll bet you a hundred thousand uh two 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 OX two two twos tokens, which is the uh rugs to riches to one of the rugs to, rugs to riches flameling tokens, the red one. Um I'll bet you that by four twenty Bitcoin will be higher than sixty eight thousand. I think so too, though. I don't think it will be. Okay. 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 What do you think it's going to be? What do you think it's going to be? Let me pull up the chart. Let's see. Let's pull up one back. Zach's like, I agree. Yeah. I thought you hey, said I... it was going to dump after that. That's I don't what I'm trying it. to say is that there, what I'm trying to say is nothing significant will happen on that day. It's not going to go up 10%. It's not going to drop 10%. I think it's yeah. going to, it's the starting line of what I believe to be if the four year cycle theory is true. Um, so, which so is the, it, it's it's true in some points, right? The whole plan B uh, super cycle, like that's been, you know, proven false, you know, always has to adjust the chart. But what I'm saying is uh, I think, I think we're at the beginning of the bull run, but I don't know in the, in the 30 day time horizon, what Bitcoin will do. I'm not the right guy to at, make a bet with. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's what's happened in the patch, right? Is, is having, and then it, it's dumped. So we're probably going to not do that this time. Yeah, right, it's gonna it's time. gonna be contrarian. Everybody's gonna expect it to dump and saving their money, and then it's just gonna <laughs> run away. But hey, speaking of uh of betting with two 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 and two three seven, we are the proud owners of flame flamelingbet.com. Hmm. So nice. We are working we are working on a new website so that we can bet using uh flameling tokens. We're gonna do like Flame. random sporting events. Yep. What's it called? Flamelingbet.com? Flamelingbet.com, yep. Yep. So it's a work in progress, but we own the yep. domain name. So yep. So you'll need 222 or 237 to, to pick your side. Like we talked about uh, the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. That'll be on there. So, but yeah. So how that'll work is you'll just, you'll send your bet to one of the uh, wallets. What there will be a wallet set up for two 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 and a wallet set up for two three seven, and whichever side wins, you get the other side's tokens. So if two 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 wins, you'll get your two 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 back, and you'll get whatever portion of two three seven. Like if there's ten people that bet on two 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 and five people that bet on two three seven, you're the ten people are splitting the five people's tokens. So that's ex then we'll exciting, man. That's really cool. So let's see this. We got to figure out a way to like actually place bets like on, on that website, and, like where you can see live, like real time, like maybe enter, like link it to um, like the poker website that we're using, mm -hmm. where you can just go to right to that website, click place my bet, and then it forwards <laughs> you into that program, into that website. Yeah, I think that you know we'll start slow. We have the the what the domain, so we can always add upon it. You know, mm -hmm. so you guys are betting Tyson, huh? Oh, hundred percent. That's what. That that's means, the smart way to go. You listen, are the that, only one that did. You know what? For Tyson. Guess what happens? You're gonna lose you twenty. You twenty motherfuckers are gonna send your million tokens to two two two. Me, one person, and take all that two two two. No, Ty Tyson's not gonna lose. Yeah, we'll no, he's see. not, man. That's what we're gonna see. Hey, maybe we're... I should ape, ape this token, a uh, KFC Kentucky Fried Cat. <laughs> <laughs> that, look at the chart; it looks like a big fucking middle finger already. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you find that? Uh, just I was just jumping on the deck screener, and right here, if you change the settings, right last five minutes trending, last five minutes. Uh, you can just see kind of these new tokens that are being launched and ah, see what, creatives hot. on my side, creatives on my side. Mm. Um, one funny token I'll mention. I don't know if you guys heard about this on, on the inner, on the crypto Twitter. Let's see if I pull it back up is, um, did you hear about the Costco hot dog? Yeah. Meta? You said, yeah. I like that one. I, I, where yeah. are we at on it? Is it a bucket? It's a chill at four cents, but, uh, for those, uh, not in the no, just throwing throwing this bone. Um, 
this is just another meme narrative that this was the first uh i don't know if it was the first of this of this meta but um right the costco hot dog has been a dollar 50 for a long time i don't know how many years a decade or so or yeah. more and forever. um yeah since forever they've right? since it yeah. opened right uh and um so then someone made this you know cost on uh, the meme token on solana and their whole narrative is it's got to go to a dollar fifty because a Costco hot dog is a dollar fifty. That, that's, <laughs> that's their reasoning. And then it and becomes a stable coin, right? That would be that would be hilarious. That right, yeah. And and so it got all this volume, and you know, it got all the liquidity and all this. But um, um, uh, I saw a lot of other ones starting spinning off of it, like Arizona iced tea, ninety nine cent, like they used to be <laughs> ninety nine cent. And so other people are trying to copy, but like most things right you want to be first or different and so they are the you know the first you're going to be the first doge or the first whatever you know first bitcoin but um anyway i find it amusing and what's even crazier if you look up who founded uh what's it called who founded um costco guess his name guess his name larry think his name is da -da 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 -da. he'll come here let's see if he'll show me not Jim C. His name was literally Soul Price. <laughs> what? Huh. That's yeah. his dude. Soul Price. Isn't that crazy? He like uh that was, was like one of the founders. That is kind of great. That it is that true? Look Here it up. Let's up. see. Right here. American What's retailer and founder of FedMart <laughs> Price Club, which ultimately merged into Costco. Okay, so it was a merger. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah. hey, shout Isn't out that to weird. Hot That's kind of like some, you know, what do you call that? A simulation ish, you know. <laughs> it, that's the Matrix. We were talking about that the right. other day. Right here, Price Smart continues to operate warehouse clubs in Latin America and the Caribbean, while the domestic operations become became Costco. Just like mm. Sam Walton found Walmart. It says that he borrowed as many ideas from Soul Price as from anybody else in the business. Hmm. I man, I like Sam Walton. If you ever looked up a lot, some of his business quotes, they're they're really good, and that, it makes sense why Walmart became the way it is today. You know, study Sam Walton; he's got some awesome business so advice. I'm gonna shout out to here, uh, eyes a giraffe's ass. <laughs> that's that, funny. That, he that's who gets the next. Uh, the next flailing token, OX67, coming out Friday. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. And the so high as a giraffe's ass is an actual token. So it's it's H A A G oh, it yeah. It's H A A G A four two zero. Is that his token? That's their community, yeah. I was trying to see if it's on deck screener. I don't see it's it, the, brother. Let it me is, show you. Type it? type yeah, type in high, and then you can like high as and it should pop up. I, I saw it earlier. Hi, hi, it's a draft sacks. So I think that's oh, there, the, it oh, there it is. Yeah. Nice. Shout so, out to Yeah. So they 420,000 tokens. Go figure. Hey. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> man. Pretty yeah, sharp, so, man. Consolidating, man. That's nice. It's not not bad, man. It's nice. Yeah. And so what they're what they're doing is they it's uh I think 13 15, 13 by Fees, fifteen selfies. Is that correct? <laughs> and then you get a game. high as a giraffe's <laughs> ass. <laughs> and then uh, you get eleven. <laughs> you get eleven percent reflection in XRP. Dude, is is uh, is uh, Crypto Mason in on this? We need to, we need to see if he's in on it. He's a big XR, XRP mark. Yeah, XRP definitely. He's a definitely big yeah. XRP guy. Yeah. So it's a th it's a thirteen fifteen reflection token, but you're reflected back. 11% in XRP. And as uh, Adam said, there's 9,000 XRP has been reflected back so far in three months. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. So not sponsorship, but shout out. Get your uh, OX67 on Friday. A giraffe's ass is really high. So, I mean, this can go really, really high, man. Listen, I, I'm going to, the very first time I ever heard Joe Rogan stand up, <laughs> I was at a party. Right. He was on the TV. I was like on the side, like sitting in a chair. And his phrase was, I was high as a giraffe's pussy. 
And I'm like, that's pretty fucking high, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, you'll never forget it. That's the first Joe Rogan joke you 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 remember? It, yeah, it was. It was yeah. that was the first one. Yeah, that's good. So there I was. High How long ago was week. that? Oh, dude, that was a long time ago. Before Probably he was 20. like super famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way before he was super famous. It was before I had uh, kids, so that was at least 15 years ago. Hmm. Wow, wow. Yeah. Just to go quickly through these other shit coins I've got, I've got this other cat coin, Happy. <laughs> Look at this thing. What the hell was that by? Damn, I didn't see that. Someone fat fingered some giant buy. Um, it, it's a, it's a got. That's a lot of things I real. A lot of these. It's, it's, it's a real cat. It's some nerd's real cat, and then they'll take a picture of it, right? And then they'll make it a meme token and. It's so right here. It's pretty funny. Happy cat is the first and only cat meme coin based on the popular happy cat meme where a real living cat legally owns 1% of the coin supply. This arrangement makes the cat a significant shareholder directly benefiting from all future gains and facing any potential drawbacks. But this, this is so stupid. This milestone marks the first instance of history where a cat has held ownership in a cryptocurrency. Have you, Hey, do you guys remember when that guy posted something that was like a, a gun to a cat's head and said if if people don't send him x amount of dollars by the time he was going to shoot the cat no. we should do it. we could completely do that no we get yeah out. i'm serious dude it was a long time ago yeah he got he got in some trouble but yeah uh, well create hey creative creative i gotta catch up with you then i'm trying to trying to get this uh flameling bets website up it's gonna be fairly simple i'll, I'll reach out to you tomorrow yeah so so yeah, don't buy this ish. Hey, I say that and it's gonna go crazy probably. But it's a cat that's you know when cats dance when they're happy, like they jump up. That's the whole thing. And I don't know, man. It, it, it was it was cute when I bought it. I bought it low though. I bought it. I might be up actually. I bought it like down here, at, like two cents maybe, because it was on the nice. low. I was like, why not? Um, another just mean cat. All right, next hentai. Don't rec don't recommend this. Uh, the real hentai but this token i don't know same thing i was i was looking for the lows like these memes that were like on the low uh i bought it probably around maybe this 30 uh 003 cents so it's still in the same kind of range here uh just thought it was funny you know it was on deck screener as well it was like one of the hot ones at the time so not much other uh, thought process there i have no idea what this project's about um and it's a shark cat that's a hey, adam Adam is is OX67 getting launched on base? No, no, it's not getting launched on base. No, I don't, I've never heard that. Why do you say that? I was just asking. I know that they were talking about launching one on base. No, it's okay. going to be on uh, BSC. Okay. That's What's up with all these cats? Is that the thing this year? Is cats? Because well, all yeah, the the meta, like, let me give you the little meta insight that I know. Because on Solano, right, it was all the you know dog whiff hat, and then they had all these dog tokens, and then someone was like, "Hey, let's just do cats now." And now cat tokens are like what's trending who, and such. Okay, who so has that influence to start all this trending? Yeah, like, animal yeah. stuff. That's that's crazy. W one thing I was going to say about Mew as well, which I haven't confirmed either, but like we're talking about, there's obviously some coordinated effort to build this token up and such. Um, the the founders of the Jupiter exchange on um, Solana, uh, if you, um, where was I was going to show you, ba -ba -ba. these guys are weirdos too, right? I, I'll, everyone in crypto is a little bit weird. Uh, right, they have this cat here. You click the cat. We all wear yellow suits. I know, right? What the hell is wrong with these people? Um, where was it at? Let's see. Da, 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 blog, maybe governance. There's some drama with this. This is uh, an aggregator on Solana. So when you, tr it's very smooth. It's really one of the best exchanges I've used. But mm -hmm. um, let's see if I can find. There's some. their drama with it right now. Their launch. Their there's a vote for their. Uh, let's see. Proposal core working group budget. So basically, the uh, developers wrote out a proposal of how they should be paid for building the the platform. And right now, it's something like they're getting like eighty thousand dollars salaries per year. And then, like over the next three years, they basically get token unlocks where they're each going to get like three million dollars worth of tokens. So they're all going to be like millionaires. And um, and everyone was 
what everyone was upset about though is because it's a DAO, so supposedly, right? It's, it's all the token holders voting yes or you know for or against. Um, mm -hmm. But but um, it turned out right, like the majority shareholders are the insiders, so they all just voted yes, and so like the biggest whales are like the people like involved in the project. So what I'm mm. getting at is they basically voted yes to get pay themselves millions of dollars. Um, and even so, you, it yeah. sounds like the Senate and the <laughs> House of Representatives, like real life, yeah, I'm like real politicians, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing different. Got it. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Pelosi's behind it. She's behind <laughs> the Dow. Yeah, it turns out Slorg is Nancy Pelosi's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was saying that their whole shtick here. That I'm bringing it back to Mew. They say they're a they're a Dow. They're all cats, right? They all think they're cats. So I was curious if, if pussies. they may be involved with. <laughs> they all think they're cats. Yeah. Um. Hey, we think we're. I think I'm an elephant online. So hey. So more power to them. I mean, but, I got uh, a big trunk. So what can I say? <laughs> I was trying to find where they <laughs> where on their perps. Let me see. I'm, I mean, you have a, a soundboard. You could have. Oh yeah. What do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what we think about your big trunk <laughs> uh can't find it but interesting uh interesting token um the, their jlp token right it's a liquidity provider token um mm -hmm. right now giving 124 percent apy apr apy 80 percent apr um and it comes from fees generated from people trading on their um perpetual swaps uh i mean um, going long or short on their perps. So right, if I go to my trade here, I can trade Solana, Ethereum, or Bitcoin, um, right? Leverage trade on their uh, platform. And, um, but by holding this token, right, you're holding, it, it's an index fund. You're holding Solana, ETH, wrapped Bitcoin, USDC, and USDT. And oh, so okay. I, I think that's that. really strong. Yeah, that's a strong index fund. Um, and so on top of that, they also you're using that token to be the house for the people trading against. So when people do well, right, they're eating out of this. See, this total locked value is three hundred thirty million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So people win, that number is going down, and JLP will be going down. Whereas if their people are winning, I mean, are losing their trades, which typically happens, uh, right? More liquidity is being absorbed um, as fees uh, into this token. That is then being indexed with Solana, ETH, Bitcoin, and two stable coins. So, what is this on? This is on Solana. On Solana, yep, hmm. yep, yep. And I said it's really beautiful, really smooth. I really like this um, particular. Um, they have the DCA um, feature as well. So, if you want to DCA a particular token, right, you can do that here. You can set limit orders. So that's awesome. Like, so let me give you an example of where I, I had a limit order for. Um, another meme coin um but let's just say this mu token you're like yeah it sounds great but i think it's going to come back down to you know 0. 0.004 right down here you want to catch the low you could just set up a a, a limit order here on if i go back to the uh jupiter i can set up a limit order say hey for mu right i want to you know let's see buy mu rate right i want to buy when it's at four five so when it goes down another 20% and I, I want it to expire never, let's say I want to buy a hundred dollars of it. Right. And, and then there you go. You could just, uh, they do take a 0.1% fee, but you would just have this limit order waiting. Uh, and whenever they, uh, like I said, if it ever it fell to that, it would just automatically activate. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's Mew. That's Jupiter. That's how you see all these crazy meme coins. I don't know, man. Like some of them, I'll just be reading the new ones that are launching. And if it gives me a, a, a chuckle, right? If I think it's humorous, I'll be like, okay, I got to throw in something, you know, because I think <laughs> other people will find it funny. I think I got a good sense yeah. of humor. Yeah. Cause I mean, if you can't get in and throw in a hundred bucks, right? I mean, shit. If you threw a hundred bucks into Mew, it's up 500X, right? What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> so even like this, this Bowden token has, done pretty well um it's on hundreds of x's already as well but once you know right now we're at looks like we're at previous highs and so we'll see if it breaks the support but you know for example this could be a token you had that dca ready 
right? You buy here, then just go ahead and set a sell limit when it gets back to, you know, 45 cents, make a, you know, 40% on your investment. Um, but there's the risk, right? With these highly volatile meme tokens, it could just crash back down to 20 cents and never recover. But um, that's the game you play, I guess, when you're jumping into these memes, it just all, the, they're all community driven, right? There's no utility. So it's simply if other people will buy it after you because they think it's funny. Um, and that seems to be a strong, uh, like I said, there, for every one of these really strong charts, there's so many that just absolutely die after the, the initial pump. But Solana is where all the volumes, like I said, if I just go over back to Dex Screener, you can see all these tokens, Solana, 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 Base, Solana, Solana, you know, Avalanche has auto. So Solana's where the, the fun's at and the DGENs are at. Hmm. That's crazy. That's my stick for the night. It's crazy. Well, if y'all are still listening, give us uh give us your uh your best Solana Mamie pick in the comments after the show. Maybe we'll pick one and uh and uh jump in as a as a as a show. So, uh, AG, what's up with these uh, new symbols up here? So, let's get into it. We've got Atlantis Coin Market Cap sponsoring the show now. They we are we are partnered up with them, and I'm excited about it because it's a whole decentralized banking opportunity that also has a metaverse that ties in real world assets. You know a lot about it. Why don't you uh, give us a rundown? Actually, we've got Olo in the background. Let's get let's bring him on the show. Yeah, I'll I'll let you guys go. Y'all have a good night, and uh, I'm excited to learn more about Atlantis uh, Coin. I'm gonna listen in. I'll see you guys. Perfect. All right, see, man. See you, Zach. Yeah, good night. Olo, Olo, you there? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Hey, Mikey <laughs> said he's gonna hop on here in a few minutes, so he'll be joining us too. Cool. <clears throat> so, so for those of you guys that go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I was gonna say for those of you that, that don't know, Olo is the chairman of City of Atlantis, and ACM is going to be the first uh D app that's coming out uh in quarter two. Mm -hmm. All right. Olo, you want to give us a, a rundown what what to expect? Um well, um, sure. Um, the um, well, yeah, like you said, the 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 first DAP out of the City of Atlantis project is a DAP called Atlantis Coin Market, um, which is an exclusive access DAP that allows uh, crypto communities to bring exposure, circulation, and utility to their favorite DGEN tokens. Um, uh, people will be able to do this uh, by establishing. Uh, what we call coin market accounts uh, in the uh, in the ACM DAP. Um, coin market accounts will allow uh, users to yield up to 52.8% APY in various uh, DGEN tokens across multiple chains. Um, uh, what's cool is um, uh, um, a percentage of uh, those tokens are uh, uh, well, I, I guess I want to get, get into it too deep. I, do you guys have you guys any questions too far? I'll let you guys kind of ask some questions before I kind of ramble. Right. Right. Yeah, I've got <laughs> lots of questions. So uh, yeah. I think the, the coolest thing that we the how we got introduced to you, Olo, is you guys partner with uh Mikey and Adina for with Earn, right? Earn's the um is the uh reserve currency. Reserve for currency, him? yes. Uh -huh. for the city of Atlantis project. So yeah, we'll be integrating um, the city of Atlanta's project is um, uh, made up of a bunch of uh, several dApps and protocols that power it. And so the earn token will be utilized in various different um, um, dApps and protocols in various different ways, ways that you will be, you know, you can see and they'll be more um, um, obvious and then ways that you wouldn't even imagine, you know, that is kind of powering something. Hey, hey, Olo, how long how long have you personally been working on this idea for City of Atlantis? 
um, conceptualized it, started to write it up in 2013, really started investing heavy into it three years ago, like heavy, like, yeah. So, and you have, you have a couple hundred employees, right? Yeah. Um, our staff, uh, the, the, it sounds crazy. I know when a lot of people, cause you're not used to hearing crypto projects, kind of with that kind of, um, cause a lot of people, um, the project is a lot more, uh, it goes beyond the average investor's vision or imagination. It's pretty huge. And so, um, but yeah, we have, uh, um, a, a, a few hundred employees across multiple companies that are all uh, aligned with the project. Nice. Well, what's yeah, going on, Mikey? I brought you on the show. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you good. Yeah, sorry. No, the is going to be probably here in the next like 30 or so minutes. Uh, apparently. All right. Well, let us know when she gets here and you guys can come back. Put us four ways. Come on, man. This is not I your first bear around. Why not? Because now we lost Mikey. Got, no one. You just told me to take them away. No, I did. I was <laughs> kidding. <Crazy>. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Listen, I have been uh, drinking, guys. I, I'm the only one drinking right now. Uh, <laughs> although, nor easy for me. Yeah, although normally we, we have some beers, but I, I drank pretty heavily yesterday. So I've been, you know, I'm the old guy on the show. So me drinking yesterday made me suffer today. Oh, I can dig it. <laughs> Sprite and vodka to the, tonight. So yeah, this nice. is my second glass. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, we're just having coffee with Tobin. And I will be in a private coffee when she gets down here. Nice. Those are kind of back to back so, days. I think it's our yeah. fifth or so. Um, like call. No, well, the other ones are like private AMAs, but they're different. But we did that. Uh, the community one is kind of like an AMA. We do like Monday through Friday um, in mm -hmm. the morning. Really good. Then with the did the AMA with uh, Haga. Um, yeah, I think, I think I saw one of you guys in there. I think it was either you or, or, or AG or yeah, one. I I was in there. I was cool. listening. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few other ones going on today. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's, it's like a slow day in the crypto markets, but it's like busy. A lot of buildings happening. I saw a few um, other uh, like founders and they launched a few projects today and there's another one launching tomorrow so the, the market seems like it's heating up people are trying to get their projects out there now mm -hmm. um before the bull run gets here and i was like like gotta hurry up and get this stuff done and it's like we should have been building that stuff you know months ago but it's, it's interesting seeing the rush now to get like established and grow it out there like as soon as possible you know instead of like taking your time with it do you sure. think that hurt? Do you think that hurts projects in the long? I mean, because there's so many projects coming out. I mean, there's I, I don't want to say there's limited money since there's you know trillions in the market, but you know, with so with so many like attention to detail or something. I think it can. Well, two. Well, a few things. One, it could be much more expensive. Um, platforms like CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, for example, tend to um, have fees for listing. And when they get an influx of projects wanting to get on the market immediately, they have to uh, delegate it to those that are spending more money. I mean, you could spend quite a substantial amount of money to get listed on point market cap. I mean, we, um, it cost us over $5,000 and I was doing it manually. If we were to pay someone to do it, we could have spent anywhere between 10 and 15. Um, and a lot of people in the market, they're gonna come in, are not gonna know how to go through the manual process to get uh, listed on there with like multiple contracts, the correct, um, the correct uh, circulated supply for track and stuff like that. Like we've done with CoinGecko, like we're just about done with the coin market cap. And so when you rush to do all that stuff, you pay a pretty penny to do that, that. So that could really hurt a project because maybe they don't have money to spend that to get that listing and where they could have spent it on something else like development, um maybe some guerrilla marketing stuff or community giveaways or something like that so yeah i think it hurts for people not you know taking the time to build um based in the slow time versus doing it like right now you know, instead so, but you know it really comes down to their budgets i guess if they can afford to do it i guess they can do it now olo uh your project doesn't have a token you guys have partnered though with mikey from uh, the earn token is that correct yes um 
yeah yes yeah we don't we don't have a um a token per se we will be launching one but it won't be a, um again uh you can people can learn about that by coming into our chat we'll go deeper but we are launching a token we will have one eventually but it won't be like your typical token it would be a token just a little alpha it'd be a token that you can't buy you can only earn it hmm, okay <laughs> so earn, it sounds like earn well you can buy earn but you can't buy the token that we're launching you can only earn it <laughs> okay, what's that one it's, it's going to be what pearl no pearl is a is a another token within the uh one of the daps of atlantis in the construction system but, okay. yeah but we're we're looking loosely we're gonna it looks like we're gonna call the token's name atl so that'll be the actual token name that you can't buy nice and what is that is that like a is that the dose queen huh <laughs> What's that dog's name? Doge. <laughs> yeah, we can What's make your... a, a small coin, call it Max with the scarf. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably take off. Just launch it on Solana. Probably everything does over there these days. It's so crazy. Yeah, okay. It's <laughs> a cute dog. Man, I'm trying to. I... What are you trying to do I... right now? Well, I was trying to post the uh, TG for um, for ACM, but can't seem to find it on my damn Telegram. Did you kick me out, Olo? Mm -mm. No, it's uh, Atlantis. It should be uh, it is Atlantis Coin Market or Atlantis Coins. One of the two at Atlantis Coins. So, how are you integrating Earn into your project? Um, Earn is uh, one is the in in ACM um, and, and that uh, uh, DAP, um, it's a part of the rewards payout. So um, each user um, of uh, uh, of uh, ACM can earn can yield up to fifty two point eight percent in um, in tokens, uh, various tokens, like I said, that are in our in our um, inventory. But um, the reward token that you're going to get um, um, is always going to be an earn. Um, you'll get point. You'll get uh, of your um, monthly. We call them monthly uh, percentage yield. You can make up to four point four percent per month on your on, in tokens, and point four percent of that is always going to be an earn. And so um, it'll just be a percentage. Earn will always be a percentage of your yield output. Um, or it's like a, we would call it the reward side of the token. So you're earning tokens, and then we always get a little earn as a reward token. And so it's going to um, put earn in a lot of wallets, long story short, because this, uh, this project um, um, integrates, you know, is designed to integrate hundreds of other projects and their communities into the, into the DAP. So um, it has a huge, you know, uh, use case to it um, for servicing um, uh, well, essentially, it turns project communities into, I like to call them, uh, alternative uh, market makers. And so it's going to be uh, super cool, you know, to watch uh, um, the adoption of it, once, especially once a lot of people get to understand the value of the protocol and what it actually does to the economy of a token of a, of a, of a, um, of a project. And so no, we're we're you know we're again we're pretty excited about you know eventually introducing it to the to the world in the next in the next quarter here. So Olo, you gave us a uh, a parcel of land to give away. Do we want to do that today, or do we want to have people join the Telegram and we'll track who joins and we'll give it away next week? Yeah, um, either or. Like I said, I think yeah, the goal is uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way to incentivize that maybe people who are watching the show maybe just give it to somebody yeah. randomly in the chats first one to chat something or pick a number spin a wheel i don't know what <laughs> but yeah but well, yeah every week you you know let's give away a, a yard you know or figure out a way to kind of um yeah. give the viewers a yard especially people who are watching that can win you know um that's I always say, cool you know i say anyone in the chat will take all the names everybody that's in the chat and we'll put it on a wheel 
and we'll spin it next week. And uh, so pe- people that had questions, if you guys have questions about ACM, no, nah, either- like whoever was talking showed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You showed up to the show, maybe. <laughs> you get right. sounds, to you. sounds good. So we're gonna do everybody that's already said something, or yeah. can they can they say something yeah. now? So any okay, they so anybody that has now. what? Anyone that says anything throughout the entire show. So, all right. At the end of the show, we'll go and we'll look and we'll we'll take every name that left a uh, a comment in the live chat. That's an actual list. comment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's well, what, a, a useful comment. Yeah. Or question. Use- or, or question. Or. Not- okay, it has to be like what, 14, 15 characters long. <laughs> I'm just saying all that <laughs> stuff, but it can't just be like hi or pick me. There's got to be something. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, what's this Atlas City Hall? We got a we got a Telegram group called uh, Atlas City Hall chat. Where do you see? It says Atlantis City Hall. Yeah, what yeah, I say? That's what Atlas. 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 <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all comes back that I've been drinking. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's just the main chat of the of of the city of Atlantis. It's just a city hall. It's where we're going to be holding. Um, Starting, I think our first real AMA I start um, April twenty fifth in there, and so we'll be doing coin market, coin market conversations in there, just going over, you know, just educating everybody on the coin market, uh, Atlanta's coin market, you know, the DAP, how it works, you know, the the uh, potential of it, you know, and the value of it to the ecosystem. Nice. nice. So we have a couple of giveaways. So all right, so we're going to give away the yard. For anybody that makes a comment. So, oh, nice. What's the other good one? The yard is a good value. Again, you, that's why, a why don't you give us a rundown on on all the different NFTs? Yeah, like I said, it's it's really uh, no. You get what you. It makes it easy <laughs> to tell your viewers once they win one. It makes them go read the black paper because it's the. Nice. It's I can't explain it here. <laughs> we'll be here all damn day talking about it. Yeah, and that so, black paper is 40 pages it, long. It's a 40, and, and I got 400 more pages to go. You understand? Ah. That big. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you got to imagine. So, what a lot of people in your viewers probably won't understand is that, you know, this is a, um, a, a, a city of industry project. This is, um, it's bigger than just the ACM DAP or one DAP. There's several DAPs that are in this project. Um, it's an ecosystem project. It touches the real world. It, um, every DAP in our ecosystem helps to power the tokenization of real world assets. Um, and we're token, we're, um, the city of Atlantis is specializing in tokenizing, um, 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 uh, re, um, uh, resources, natural resources, real estate, digital entertainment, and, um, and, uh, consumer products. And so uh, we have three DAPs that focus on those, um, and they're very powerful in our um, um, in the city of Atlanta. Uh, but like I said, once you read the black paper, it goes into details. Yeah. It gives a nice overview of the project, and so on. They give a lot of people, you know, a good idea of um, um, yeah, the well, value of the assets that you're giving away. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll break it down each week and try to do a little a little piece here and there. Because the you know from reading the black paper, the scope is amazing. Like it, the your vision of what you're trying to accomplish is uh, I, daunting. I guess would be a good word for for an average person to think. Yes, um, and so it, it all starts with what uh, a step, and the first step is ACM. So in quarter two, ACM is going to come out, and that's going to get going to get this uh, boulder moving in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. And if you could summarize ACM into a, a short, brief summary, what? How would you describe it? Don't, you um, have a rec- you have a recording. Just hit I the do. button. I do. <laughs> you just, okay. Okay. I spent all day making this. I hope you guys <laughs> like my uh, my lady voice that I put on this. Let's let's, let's get into it. Atlanta's coin market is an exclusive access crypto marketplace powered by SXRN, an AI auto trading algorithm and uses the EARN token as its reserve currency. ACM provides digital asset yielding and liquidity servicing to quality blockchain-based projects at zero cost. 
ACM services are designed to increase exposure, circulation, and utility of your favorite digital assets. ACM is part of a group of protocols that help power the City of Atlantis ecosystem project. COA, City of Atlantis is a virtual real city of industry that tokenizes real-world assets in multiple sectors including natural resources, real estate, digital entertainment, and consumer products. For more information join their TG at Atlantis Coin Market. All right. Okay, I'm not mad. <laughs> not mad. We'll work on it. We'll make some work. Get it out there to the people. <laughs> it's a nice throw. Well, I mean, I don't even know if people really understood what that what, what the lady was saying clearly, but uh, the robot <laughs> the robot was saying exactly. But, um, but it's no, a starting I mean, point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> starting point. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, but no, like I think I said in the opening that you know it's 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 a DAP that's. Um, it's really designed again to help com uh, crypto communities bring exposure, circulation, and utility to the to their favorite DGEN tokens. That's what it's really designed for, and they do this by yielding um, their tokens. They, they again, they have uh, in the DAP they'll create something called coin market accounts, where they where it allows them to yield um, their favorite tokens and other tokens, DGEN tokens. Um, there's uh, um, there'll be um, solutions inside the dap that allow them to build portfolios with these tokens and 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 reward them for building them in the right way dcaing in and out properly there's a lot of little cool things that will be um um adding to the to the dap that um gives a lot of value and it kind of teaches uh, these communities you know um it, i think education is like a huge thing that should be integrated into the design of the daps good behavior um uh, you know um um, I, I think uh, um, there's a lot of ways to incentivize people to do the right things instead of just kind of, you know, uh, buying low and selling high or s buying high and selling low, whatever, you know, side of the coin you come in on in these projects. But I think there's a lot of ways that you can help educate people how to, you know, um, invest and manage these tokens in a way that uh, um, for long-term sustainability, but we got to design projects again that incentivize those habits, and um, that's what we're planning to do in this as well. Nice. Now, Mikey, are are you sleeping over there? Seeing an update? No, but uh, got an update, thinking, huh? That's a big thing for a lot of projects. Uh, was thinking about that in regards to um, utility. A lot of people believe projects don't need utility; they can live off a of hype alone. A lot of projects. I guess can to a certain point until they reach, reach a certain adoption level. Um, we've seen this with some bigger projects, especially on Solana, Pepe, for example, it's on ETH. But it takes a lot of money to get that out to everyone. And even the ones that um, throw literally millions of dollars at it, sometimes they don't make it. So, um, I mean, it's, I guess, a gamble. You know, it could work and it could win big, or you could build something organically from the ground up and you can start off a sustainability model that allows it to grow at i think a reasonable pace but um yeah partnering to projects um collaborating to build that base thicker as the project is getting um like older and it's like it's life i think it's very it's very important to do um i've just seen so many projects that launch uh, with millions of dollars and they crash and burn um and you think they would work out fairly well but um some do take off though it's just it's interesting watching how it plays out of there i was watching a video earlier about um zach talking about a project that started off fairly low and he guess was talking about the crypto cabal for people pro like millions of dollars of things like how does it get that much liquidity i think well that's because people are banking on it catching and they're willing to take the risk you know that's the kind of the game in crypto how do you turn a million bucks in Two million bucks. You know, it's easier to turn a dollar into two, but it's not as easy to turn a million into two million. You know, so mm -hmm. you have to play these you know, bigger games essentially in the space to make that happen quicker. And you see that you see that happening in some projects. Um, it's pretty wild out there, and it's only going to get more crazy as we get closer. Um, a more as where I think we're already in a bull run, but as we get further into this bull run, you will see more of that stuff happen. You'll see, you know, not. Three four months ago, you'd be lucky if you found a project over a million dollar market cap. You know that was 
fairly legit and working hard. Um, it was the most things were being uh, faded at 100k. You know, I was in some groups where they said that 50k market cap, it's already done. It's already had its run. It's done. And then it. Was, That's crazy you know, to me. I can't I believe people think that way. Yeah, well, I mean that Maybe was that was, was the mute. Yeah, that was the mu token that we were talking about earlier. The the cat against the world or whatever, cat against the dog yeah, world or whatever the fuck it's called. Token, not the mu, the mu it's, token. No, it's, it is mu, bitch. It means W, it's, mu. It's meow. <laughs> it is. It's not meow, dumbass. It's mu. <laughs> Go back to the to the token. It was M-A-U. It is yeah, not. W, I mean. It's M-E-W, mu. Yeah. And what I we're thought, seeing is people that I think are popular. Like, yeah. Oh, fucker. <laughs> more money. Yeah. <laughs> Even inside of like the well groups that I'm in, um, some private groups, I, mean, I see people sharing um, a buy box links, and I'm seeing 100 million, 200 million, 500 million um, buy box that are coming in. I remember, yeah, like I said, not long ago, you'd be lucky to see one that came with 100K. You know, are you talk, or you're talking like a single trade, like someone put up a, a buy bot? For... There was one recently with the token called Bruce where somebody threw 700 ETH at it. In one buy. Oh my god! I saw one uh, today, ninety-five thousand dollars in one buy. Actually, it was That's that a... same token too. See, I, I don't have a a problem with someone putting in ninety thousand dollars in in a project to to buy it, but when they're letting a robotic, you know, through Telegram or however they make these <laughs> trading bots, that's just scary, man. I I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> That's why you don't have night. That's why you don't have ninety five thousand dollars to buy a crypto project with. <laughs> Maybe I do. I just don't put it on a bot. I mean, if you think about like this, if you had like five to ten million dollars, then I guess it's all relative, right? If you have five yeah. to ten million dollars and you look at a play that would take fifty thousand of that and maybe turn it two x, that's not a lot of money, like based on your portfolio. So. True. I mean, I think we're yeah. seeing more of that happening in the market where you have just bigger players just throwing money around, and it's only going to get more substantial as we get further into the run. And um, yeah, because that's that's what I was looking at with the uh, that that mu token because BT shouted it out, and I went yeah. and looked at. It, I'm like, this thing's at a six hundred million dollar market cap already. Like, how much more room does it have? You know, I mean, you're talking about two point five billion is only a four x at that point, right? Like. Yeah. yeah. But it's, so, not, it's, it's not attractive to people that only got a couple thousand or 10,000 right. to win. It's attractive to millionaires that are yeah. wanting to throw a couple hundred thousand at a time because they're not going to go over to earn and throw a couple hundred thousand dollars at it and want to get a quick 2x. They're yeah. not going to do that with that token right now. They're going to do that with a token that already has uh, a $400 million market cap you know, or a, a billion dollar market cap because they um, need to be able to get in and out without that, that lovely price impact situation. I mean, price impact exists across all cryptocurrencies, even Bitcoin. You won't see Michael Saylor drop a billion dollars, you know, worth of Bitcoin. You know, he'll be destroyed in regards to price yeah. impact. He'll probably get like half, if that, out of it. And so um, as projects get bigger and bigger, you get to see bigger players that exist inside of them. And that's what you're seeing. Um, that's it's attractive right. and calendar. Hello. If I if I was a big baller and I had a million dollars worth of earned tokens and I moved it over to Atlantis Coin Market Cap, what's the benefit of doing that? You've got a an AI trading bot. You want to that, explain? That, no, that's not how that works. And How's so, that work? How's it so, work? Yeah. So uh, the only thing when you a Coin Market account only accepts USDC. It just when right. when you're yielding, it just yields you back out in your favorite tokens. And the, with, for fifty percent of the tokens that it's going to yield out are going to come from whatever token you set up your account. You remember, this is an exclusive access mm -hmm. uh, 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 protocol. So, if you if you start your you can you the only way you can start an account is by coming in, um, utilizing uh, tokens from approved projects. And so, okay, so, so if I make you know take profits from. Uh, elephant or urn or whatever other projects that you have move them over to atlantis coin market cap then i can get 50 percent. Mm -hmm. nope not even doing that that's not how you do it so what you're doing I is so to open up your account you're going to need let's say you're you had elephant 
you're going to need $44 worth of elephant token to open your account. Now, okay. $44 worth of elephant, it's just used as a key. It's not a fee that you're paying. It's just a, a, a number that you put into the DAP. This is going to ask you for $44 worth of their tokens. Once you do that, it, um, it, 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 it um, allows you to go in and set up an account once you stake those in the contract. So once you stake those in the contract, 50% of what you yield from whatever you deposit in USDC in that in that account is going to be an elephant. Mm, okay. So if you put, you know, um, just whatever amount you put in there, you could put a hundred bucks in there, a thousand dollars in there, ten thousand dollars in there, whatever you put is going to yield you four point four up to four point four percent per month. It starts at one point four percent, but you would utilize um, you can there's ways that you can multiply your yield in our system. And that'll be come out more during our uh, educational series and and, um, and AMAs. But long story shorter, um, half of what you yield is going to be in the coin that you set your account up with. So you'll get that in Elephant. The other half of which you yield, um, you can diversify that. You can make it all Elephant if you want to, or you can diversify the other. 50% within other tokens in our ecosystem. There may, you may say you want, you know, we'll just name them. There, there's gonna be, uh, you know, on at launch, there'll probably be over 30, 40 projects that'll be available um, to get tokens in, in that during that time. But you'll be able to go, I want 1% of this one, 10% of that one. Uh, you'll be able oh, wow. to kind of divide it up and then get this, every time your yields come at just a basket of coins hits. And then it's your job to kind of, you know, properly, um, um manage it in your portfolio and um and earn rewards more additional rewards by doing it so so you don't you don't take your coins that you, from the other projects and kind of throw it in there you this is where you yield the coins this is where you're you're generating them you know and you're doing them in in, in this uh, uh honorable way to kind of um uh, create some action on those charts I like it. I like it. So you come in with US, you said USDC? USDC. Or USDC. Mm -hmm. okay. USDC. Mm -hmm. USDC and earn yield and get multiple different tokens if I wanted to, mm -hmm. or just one or two or three. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, so it's kind of like a, like, I don't want to say like a credit union, but where a credit union, you have to be members of a church or mm -hmm. artists or mm -hmm. something like that. So that's what you're using, you mm -hmm. know, Elephant or Earn or. What are some of the other partnerships you guys have already? Uh, Roberna, Diga, right now. Um, those are the ones that we've announced already. Um, there's about six more that I haven't announced yet. Nice. So well, that'll be coming soon. But, you know, again, by the time we launch, though, they, I'm trying to have between 20 and 30 or so initial initial nice. uh, affiliated tokens. Yeah. So that's a good way to get exposure to, to things you might not have known about, too. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. um, but it's a, and it's a great way to kind of create, I'm, there's not a DAP. I haven't seen a project out there that brings a bunch of projects together before. That's what's well, really great about this too. It's like a net, the network effect that will create um, where, and then the, the purpose of everybody in this DAP is to bring um, value to their communities by, by servicing their dollars to yield more of their tokens versus, um, you know, that's a better way to yield them than just like spending your raw cash. You can service your capital, yield tokens. You don't, you know, and you don't even lose your, you know, your, your, uh, your principal capital in the system, which is cool. Hey, Olo, is, uh, the treasury, uh, servicing, is that part of ACM or is that? Yes. Another? Yeah. Treasury, uh, vault servicing will be a part of, will be a service that we will provide, um, in ACM to projects where we will allow them to, um um to order to use the, the service projects we need to set up with one of three brokerages that we're affiliated with um and um these three brokerages uh they get something what you call like a pam a pam account i don't know if you guys are familiar with that within trading mm -hmm. and so um um and basically uh it's just a way of kind of protecting the capital so we when we go to to uh, crypto projects and say, hey, service your, your capital in our, tre uh, in our system, your treasury in our system. It's not like we're saying, hey, put 100%, put your money directly into our contracts. We're saying, no, you go to a brokerage first, you set up a brokerage account. And then once the brokerage account is set up, now you have a liquidity provider and you plug your, your PAM account into ACM and begin the yield. 
So it's a nice. safe way for projects to service their treasuries by going through one of uh, three brokerages. We'll be using uh, Black Bull, uh, Precision Markets, and Liquidity One will be the three brokerages that the project can set up accounts with and begin, you know, yielding, uh, servicing their treasuries, which I think will be is, is, is probably a, a very smart thing to do for a lot of projects instead of letting money just sit there and, you know, die out slowly. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was one of the things that, uh, from, you know, us talking to you that really caught my attention. You know, so like uh, Adams here from High's Draft Staff, so they have a a treasury, so mm -hmm. you know they're going to need someone to service their account and things like that. And I know that uh, Creative with uh, OX one seven seven, you know, he's building a treasury, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, no, gonna... yeah, we'll definitely be able to do that, and um, and the project can earn between uh, can yield between fifty three to seventy four percent APY on their treasuries, and imagine what you what a project could do with that money. You know, especially if the you know the treasuries are decent. You know, there's a lot of projects that are holding on to millions of dollars. They're just kind of sitting there, dying. You know, a slow death. And so, if you plug those things in and activate that value, you can really you know have the revenue that you need to build utility and use case. Because that's what a lot of projects are doing. You know, they've you know they've gathered a lot of investment dollars, but they're still trying to develop the use case or utility for the project, which is a very hard thing to do. And um, it's not as easy as most people think it is, you know, to do that, do that kind of work. But um, and they need, you know, capital and time and a bunch of stuff to do that. And I think by servicing those the dev wallet or, you know, when they're marketing or well, you got to they got to service some of that capital in the system to help power that. And so um, but when they don't, you know, you see one or two things happen either. These guys, these project leaders, find ways to fi finally rug those, rug the money out the system, or sentiment dies on the token, and they just die a slow death anyway because they didn't have enough time to find utility or use case for the token that they sold everybody. So this vault servicing is a is a solution that we believe can help um, um, generate some turn or some uh, what we call uh, divine circulation within the economy of a project and help power it. You know. Um, the build out of, you know, um, uh, their operations, which a lot of the projects need for sure. Nice. So hey, how, do you, how do you generate your, your funds? I, um, I know you have an AI uh, project called Siren. Can yeah, you? Siren. Can yes. You, it's yeah. A, yeah. So Siren is a um, algorithmic um, auto trader. And so, and it's different from a bot. You know, there's bots and there's algorithmic traders. And the difference between the two are um, it, it, it's miles apart. You know, bots are fairly cheap. You know, um, you, they're between 10 and 20 grand for a, a, a regular trading bot. Uh, one, the average ones you see people using uh, bots move off of uh, um, trade based off of trade indicators where algorithmic traders move off of price action which is two, two different worlds of things. Um, bots expire. Um, anytime you're trying to yield anything over 8% a month, these things begin to expire. That's why you see a lot of crypto projects. You know, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, uh, these uh, uh, crypto-based uh, hedge funds and projects like that in the space, they kind of come and go pretty quickly. And um, because that technology expires, um, an algorithm, a real algorithm trader is very expensive um um we're already uh um these things can cost a couple million dollars just to get off the ground um and so but we've been we've, we we started to developing it 16 months ago and so we're finally at a, at a point now to where we're able to you know begin bringing it out to the world and start uh plugging it into things plugging things into it so it's a good time sounds like you invested a lot into it yeah oh yeah of course yeah and so, and they and it trades, um, you know, commodities, uh, crypto, um, all the forex and indices. You know, all of, I can trade cotton. I can anything that's tradable. We can trade it. You know, <laughs> you're doing like regular stocks. You're doing oil, cotton, In, corn. Yeah. I mean, like we that. can trade anything, but we're primarily just doing right now like crypto, gold. You know the, the most commodity gold and um and then like to some forex stuff, but um we can uh, like I said trade pretty much anything that's tradable and um but we were um 
um, this is going to be made up of four algorithms. We've already kind of got the first one out. And so we'll be uh, um, um, adding more algorithmic extensions into our system, you know, as time goes on. But yeah, it's a pretty robust trading system for sure. Nice. So how did you and Mikey uh, team up and, and meet? Um, uh, I met Mikey at P. Diddy's party. He's at P. Diddy's party. He's, uh, Clip it. One, you know. <laughs> one hour and 40 minutes in. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... Uh, <laughs> No, we. Uh, I met Mikey and MMKK in one of the uh, well groups, you know, and so he was. Um, I heard his presentation on Earn, and it was like I said, we were always looking for a, a token to integrate into our system that had a certain uh, logic to it, and um, and is exactly what you know what he built and what him and uh, Nadina put together was like perfect for the project, and so. Um, but yeah, once I, you know, we seen, you know, what he built and then we got a chance to dig into it. We knew that like, yeah, that's just like exactly the kind of token that we need to kind of power a bunch of little things that we're looking to power within our system, you know. Um, and especially the first thing that you're going to see us utilizing it for is a whole, you know, suite of rewards, you know, a reward system that are powered up pretty good. And then, um, and then again, there's other, a, 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 a lot of other um, dynamic use cases we have for it as well, but that's be the first time, the first place you'll see it. Nice. Listen, for all you people that are sleeping on Earn, I mean, I, I can't, I can't even impress upon you how how big the vision of City of Atlantis is. Um, so just just the first thing coming out of ACM is going to be huge. So you know, as we branch into these. Uh, into uh showing you more about uh city of atlantis and acm just just realize that earn is going to be integrated into it and uh there's a lot of the other the, the, a lot of the other tokens too i think it's really cool that you can choose kind of like your uh your yield every month yeah. you know you can get I different percentages that. so out of all out of any of the partner uh, your partner coins that's pretty cool hey olo do you have any flameling nfts yet uh, yeah, I'm a, not yet. I, I'm, I, I'm, we're, I'm about to. Uh, I was just uh, texting Mikey. I think earlier today that I found a, a, a real great model to use these flamelings for. And so, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it a little hush right now. But yes, we will be. I will be having <laughs> some. But we're gonna integrate those flamelings into the, um, the, the system as well. But like I said, I, 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 I think I've got a real crazy use case for those flamelings that is going to um, uh, uh, make it pretty exciting. You know, it's going to make some noise is nothing that's going to make some noise, but, uh, but yeah, no, I don't have a flame. Uh, we don't have one yet, but we will have, I'm pretty sure we'll have a lot of them, you know, coming right. up soon. Well, I, I, I'm partial to two, 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 or two, three, seven personally. Just, just I, I heard about so. that. I heard about, I heard about <laughs> those too. Some, somebody told me about those before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mikey, did you guys, have you guys taken the uh, snapshot? Uh, yeah, we actually did it just before the show. Awesome. All right, uh, Ola, do you want to push the button for our... Uh... Oh, I got a screen share, don't I? Yes. Speaking of flame leaks, I'm about to pick one. Yep, yep, yep. It, uh, it is a flameling this week, right? Not a flame? Flameling, yep. We a flame last week. I'm going to pull up over what's, the scene and see what it's going to be. So what do, oh. what's the highest number right now? 600? 634? No. No, flamelings are at like 300, right? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. So we have to be under, we have to be under 300. Wait a minute. So on this, when, when, is this for somebody to win a frame? How, how does this game, how does this, how does what, this work? What this is, what this is, Olo, is anybody that, that owns a flameling this week. So mm -hmm. there, there's our roughly 300 flamelings that have been minted, right? Mm -hmm. So if our spin is zero to three hundred, somebody's going to win a hundred thousand earn. Just just for just for minting a flameling. So last week yeah. we were flames, which was like eight hundred. So we they got a hundred thousand earn just for holding or for minting, for holding. I guess they uh -huh. have to technically mint it because oh, they could buy yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah they could buy it off of other places. Yes. 
Owning for it. owning, yeah. So it goes yeah. last week was flame, this week is flame link, next week is owning Wallet. ten hundred thousand dollar earn or hundred not hundred thousand dollar, but a hundred thousand earn tokens in their wallet. So yes. we rotate has, for those three. It's in, so I think although it's actually if you have a hundred thousand earn, it would have to be on ETH. ETH. Not on ETH. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Ola, when you're ready, tell me to spin it. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, who's it going to be? Two, 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 seven. One, five, nine. Oh, no winner. We got to do that upside down next time. <laughs> uh, actually, it wouldn't work upside down either, actually. Before, oh, no? or... Yeah, that would have been one. That would have been one eighty six. Hey, what if we do it one more time just to see what is? No, that would be 418. Uh, 814, if it was upside down, it would have been 186. I say let's roll it one more time. What do you say? What do you say, Mikey? Uh, you know, I, think implement, I think I'm Why thinking. Are you not drawing just the numbers? Hmm? Is that uncertain? Yeah, you have to get them if it out. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Wanna, so, 814 oh, was it? 814. You, you want to double or nothing? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> we didn't pick our numbers. We were supposed to pick numbers this Yeah, week. we didn't we didn't pick pick our numbers. Let's do it one more time. Damn it. I think next I think next week, if we have another one where it doesn't do it, I think we can add them up like the lottery does. Ooh. Yeah. Where it where it doubles. Oh you, hey Mike, we could do it because the last flame link got paid. So the only flame. so right what are you talking about? No flame ling. The first flame ling I played. So the only yeah. one that's missed so far was the wallet. So we we did flame, it got paid. We did flame ling, it got paid. The next week was wallet. That was the first one that missed. Last week was flame, which got paid. So this is actually the out of the fifth week, this is the second one that's missed. But it's yeah. the first so this yeah. is the first flame ling that missed. So next week, then if if it misses, that would be the second wallet that's missed. So yeah. That, that, so so maybe that way we can. Because if we did, I got to think about it. Because if we do do the accumulation and say earn gets up to like 50 cents, and say yeah. the accumulation point is like 500,000. Yeah, that's like so a million we, or something. Some craziness. Yeah. <laughs> be pretty wild. That would yeah. be wild. Yeah, and uh, ideally they'll hold, but we'll see what they do with uh, it's a marketing, though. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> so yeah, people go wild. All right, yeah. so guys, next uh, next week is wallets. So this for the top one thousand wallets, and to qualify, you must have one hundred thousand ETH earn. Right, earn on ETH side. Yes. Hundred thousand. No, because we do have actually in the next two days we will be on Avalanche, um, oh. third. So we are going to be integrating and launching on Avalanche in the next few days. We're already on base. We're on BNB. We're on Solana. We're going to be eventually on additional ones too, like um, Polygon and Arbitrum. But Avalanche is going to be the next one. So mm. we did a space today talking about Avalanche for a while. Um, and everything that it entails, and how I think it's be a good addition to our ecosystem. Now, yeah, how many tokens are you moving over there? Uh, we're gonna do the same actually. So, when we first move over there, it's a small amount, but then it dynamically changes. Like right now, I think they're, I think we started off with like 50k on BNB, and now it's at what eight million? Eight, yeah, it's like eight million. Yeah, yeah, so it grows when people bridge over for arbitrage, we'll move for whatever reason. We, airdrop for these rewards so it grows over time um yeah because i saw i think i saw a base was at like like a penny and a half the other day it was way higher than all the rest a little bit yeah i mean i think it's due to the contract address being on this on coin market cap that people are now able to see it there so they buy it it's Mm. probably going to be some buys coming in too once coin gecko lists the contract too because then it's discoverable um, I noticed that happening with uh, Solana. The second that Solana was discoverable in the cap, there was a significant amount of buys that happened on Solana. 
um, after that took place. So it's just exposure as it happens. I'm going to need to do the same thing with Avalanche. Once we get the liquidity launch over there, I need to get the contract listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko too. And, um, but, the, but the token amount that's on each chain is dynamic. It just changes based on people moving around. The initial is small, essentially. Um, but then it just builds from there, essentially, from people moving tokens around. But currently, BNBs are substantially our largest one. Like, I think it's going to go 10 million pretty soon at the current growth rate that it is um, happening by the airdrops, by um, people buying up the flameling tokens, which is pushing the price up, which means people are bridging tokens over, take advantage of price arbitrage. And so it looks like most of the tokens go in, they don't really go back out. BNB for what I'm seeing. So it looks like it's just growing in size. Hmm. Maybe that changes eventually at some point. But it's all dynamic. I mean, like I said, uh, in a space of the day, I mean, the top 10 holders at any point could just unilaterally decide to move all their tokens to BNB if they wanted to. And then you have tens of millions of tokens on the BNB chain. I mean, that's the beauty of a um, decentralized um, system. You know, anyone could just move whenever they want. I mean, people, the community could literally just pick what chain they want. If they wanted most of the tokens to be on base chain, they could literally just move them over if they wanted to. And that's the primary chain. Right now, it's by far, it's Ethereum where most of the tokens sit. But again, yeah, people can decide whatever they want if they want to move most of their bag over to any chain down the line. And it'd be interesting to see which the community gravitates towards in the future. It's going to be Faith, BNB, Solana, um, Avalanche, you know, Polygon. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. So hey, it uh, did you guys have a rivalry with your um, Sweet 16 challenge? The r to Sweet 16 challenge? One of, you, one of you made Final Four and one of you didn't. You guys bragging rights on that or not? I think it was Alabama and North Carolina, right? Yeah, I know. I know one. I both in it, right? Oh, one. I know that. I know that one of you. I don't know which one was which, but I knew one of you guys made Final Four and the other one didn't. Nice. So. Yeah. Yeah, I was I actually know. reading the person I thought I was in, but it turned out I wasn't looking at it. Not really. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's the number. Oh. Yeah, I guess I was. I guess I. It seemed simple in my brain, but re fielding the, uh, the the questions, I guess it wasn't. <laughs> but, no, I get that. I might have a lot of things when I talk about in regards to liquidity integrations and blockchains and stuff like that. I mean, it just because we're in it every day, all day. So we just talk about it. We really have, like slow down a little bit. And we're actually talking about, I feel like we did it a little bit today in the space talking about liquidity pool strategies and it went over my head so i know it definitely was going on people's heads <laughs> so I, i'm like i don't even know what this, how this even works it's like just create me like 10 tokens so i can just break them and then see if i can figure out how the hell this all works you know nice <laughs> <laughs> hands on uh, so uh olo uh adam asked if beef is going to be traded as one of the uh the world world assets that's going to be traded he said beef. <laughs> yeah, he asked if beef yeah. was going to well, be traded. Well, yeah, well, we're, we're tokenizing. Wagyu. Um, yeah, Wagyu, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It may, may In consumer products, it might be. We may be some food tokenized for sure. I don't know. We haven't thought all the way down that line that long, that far, but we're definitely, we've definitely figured out how to, you know, tokenize a lot of essential goods and, um, you know, clothes and electronics and things of that nature on the consumers inside. And then, you know, we're, we're you know, we're tokenizing drinking water, uh, construction sand and oil, um, music, TV and film content. Um, and so, uh, um, and then real estate, obviously, you know, so, but yeah, I'm sure is it's going to get, I'm sure it's going to get wild, you know, as the years go by. Yeah. Although is that, that's with the ATL expansion? Yeah, that's that's what those with the three DApps in uh yeah, ATL um focuses on tokenizing uh the um natural resources and real estate. Um we have another DAP, uh that's what that launches in the beginning of Q4, the ATL DAP. 
And then we have another DAP called ART that launches uh, at the beginning of, uh, of 05, 2025. And that tokenizes um, 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 digital entertainment, music, uh, um, mm. web TV and podcasts and films. And mm. then um, and then we have another DAP that will be launching called Mecca that um, um, we're looking at maybe third quarter of 2025, uh, going between third and fourth quarter of 2025 when that launches and that tokenizes consumer products. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait, man. I'm so excited there's, about this. There's a lot to this project. Oh, it's yeah. huge. Yeah, more than a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but again, but that's what this, again, it's ambitious uh, for sure. And it should be, I mean, like I, like I believe that um, we should be using the technology to power, to solve real world problems and, you know, to, to power kind of new things and build new things. I mean, a lot of the dApps on here, yeah, this shit's funny. You know, there's a lot of fun little casino dApps and fun little, you know, money in, money out things going on. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, you know, um, excited about, you know, projects that look at the technology and then figure out, like I said, how to solve a real world problem with it. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're primarily focusing on building a whole new entertainment, a, a new um, entertainment ecosystem and economy for entertainment. That's a problem, you know, that, like I told you, I've been developing since 2013, but, and my background is entertainment. Um, um, I'm over 20, over 20 some odd years as an entertainment agent. And, um, and so I know, um, that this is a huge problem coming, you know, where we have an, a, a, a creative class that is rising um, every year. It's just getting bigger and bigger. And you can see by what's going on on social media and YouTube, all these creatives coming out. But it's very hard to still monetize for every one creative that makes money in this through these verticals. There's a thousand of them dying on the vine. And so um, the system that we're building in Atlantis um, ultimately powers the preservation of arts, entertainment and culture and creates a safe haven for uh, the creatives, um, global safe havens. It's, a, it's, it's pretty extensive and big, but a lot of the DAFs are just kind of powering the economy that needs to happen in order to make it long-term sustainable and real. You know, we want to build a project that's, this is like a, what we call legacy projects. The goal is for us to design and build something that outlives every single person on the project. I don't care if, if you're one years old and you're working on COA right now, we want you to die and this project is still going on. You get what I'm saying? And so it should outlive everybody working on it. And um, that's how we're building it and designing it to do. Awesome, man. That, that sounds fantastic. Withstand the test of time. <laughs> that's the goal. Nice. Mikey, you guys got anything you want to add? We're about that two hour mark. Yeah. Um, you know, we did mention that we have the, uh, um, AVAX liquidity launch. I, on I know third. you just snuck that in there. Tomorrow, yeah. The AMA with Paul. Yeah, it's a bit it's busy. It's a big week, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's busy, a, yeah. yeah 3 p.m. tomorrow. Central. Paul Chain. That's announced in the chat. You don't see that. Yeah, we also, like, it's a Twitter, too. Yeah. Is, um, that, is that another um, shill tank, or is that, or is that no, the... No, uh, basically, basically, Paul... So they have this program build on PAW, mm -hmm. right, it's called? Yeah. Yeah, so they ask us to do an AMA with them. Um, they're interviewing us. Yeah, they're interviewing us. Yeah. So nice. So basically, introducing Earn to the PAW community. Yeah. Uh, they have fairly large spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's a, it's a cool community, uh, very friendly and very collaborative. So yeah. Um, and we have a lot of people in our, in our community that have Earn and we have Paul. And so you'll see them periodically like bounce into spaces. They have a like a white logo that looks like a Paul. Yeah. Um, they come in spaces. And I think Brian's been one of our community mods. Mm -hmm. He's PG. Yeah. He's cool. He came, uh, we actually lives in Chicago. We actually met um, up. So um, it's a good community. Um, it's always good to have good connections. So um, yeah, we have the AMA tomorrow. Then liquidity the integration. Friday. Friday. We have the launch of when is the uh yacht party i'm trying to plan my summer 
Yeah, we're still looking to do it in the summertime, but I guess we wanted to see just how everything builds out with the community and the NFTs and everything. But it's looking like, you know, the summer might be ideal to have it this year. Um, I was kind of wondering if the board was going to be this year or next year, but maybe we'll like um, see about doing this year, this year. We'll think about it and announce it. But yeah, like nice. if, if we do it, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to bring your own boat over there, gold one? <laughs> no, it said yacht, not my, not my dinghy. You're, you're going <laughs> to pull up and be like, "Oh, my boat's bigger than your boat." Yeah, some photos of some yachts. We uh, went to Navy Pier recently. They have several that you can like uh, utilize for parties. Um, some mm -hmm. are probably a lot larger than we would need. I think we would. We'll see. The community size, something fifty to hundred people, would be ideal. Um, and then in the summer, there's a lot of cool ideas we have in regards to like different marketing tactics. Um, the Gold Coast of Chicago is fairly well known for um, just fancy uh, cars. And I thought it'd be cool to wrap a couple of like, Lamborghinis with urn logos and do the park there on Gold Coast. Nice. Like um, just outside of the restaurant or something. But, like a little QR code on it, just, you know, marketing tactic. It's actually fairly cheap to do that. It costs like a thousand bucks for the day. Yeah. And you can just park a car on the street. Nice. Never get yeah. you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially covered in QR codes. <laughs> I'm doing great. And uh, it'll be a little bit obscene. It's like fully covered in QR codes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty much the week. Um, tomorrow morning, we're doing another biggest buy competition starting at 10 a.m. Mm. The person that won the last one actually said that why don't you just do a double mint? for the next biggest buy competition. So um, unless they win again, um, the top two people are going to get two flame link. Uh, they're oh. going to get two flame link NFT. So if you get oh, second wow. place, you still get one um, oh, nice. for the next one. It's going to run for nine to six hours, starts at 10 a.m. So usually with these, there's usually always buys. Our buying and selling, our basically overall network activity has been fairly consistent. We did have somewhat of a, re um, a correction back up um, um, that was, for the most part, expected based off how the yeah. things went down. But overall, the chart looks great. I mean, if you go from like where we uh, launched to now in the time period, it's actually a little bit fast, to be honest. Um, when you talk about the number, because we started at 5K, then we went to four, we were five to 250. Then back to about 50. Then we went to about uh, four, but that was a spike up. Three. Then we stand around five and our accumulation range for a little bit of time. Then from there went to 11 and a half. And now we're at about like three, four. Um, I, I would think that the next time we go up, we're going to be somewhere around 20 to 50, something around that ballpark. But that's all really dynamic because with the amount of money that's moving in the market, I mean, it, someone could make a whatever a decision on their own and inject, you know, 20, 30, 50,000 bucks in um, just to try to grab up a lot of supply at any moment. And that's completely unpredictable when that can. I mean, happen. Olo, that sounds like something that you need to get into right now before the price goes up. You said, <laughs> what's that? I you said, said your account. Like that your accountant needs to grab some urn before the price goes up. Oh, no, you guys better get into urn before I get in there. I'm just telling you that now. Y'all better hurry up and get in there. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Trust me. We'll have plenty of urn, but you guys better get in there before ACM launches. Get in, get a good position in play before ACM launches, for sure. And you're, and you're looking sometime in Q2. We're in Q2 now, probably the towards the end of Q2. Yeah, like I said, I'm. I just, you know, you know how it goes. You don't want to give it no good date, you know, and then, yeah. you know, jump over it. But again, I just want to make sure once we roll out the MVP, it's just like super tight. And, um, and again, what we, we we want to design things that once you put it up, we don't have to bring it back down. You get so nice. Gotcha. So I'm I'm crossing my fingers for uh, for May. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I pull these numbers periodically. Well, I pretty much every single day on X, and it's basically just the number of the current remaining circulated supply. And like today, it's four hundred and thirty-one million thirty-seven thousand five hundred fifty-four. And so, what what I'm kind of focused with is trying to organically get those tokens out to the world distributed. Um, 
as much as possible. So you create mm -hmm. supply shock. It's just not it's not tokens available. I mean that's that's why we're we're branching into different blockchains and creating liquidity pools and doing these uh giveaway airdrops with like uh um sea wallet uh because we're distributing these tokens out so that there aren't any in the pool really and then it makes it very easy to go parabolic. I mean that's why my range is a little bit like like wide between 20 and 50 million because there's a lot of factors into that why that can happen and then some you look at not just the circulating supply but just how many tokens are also sitting in the buy holder um from the minting fees and when we go back to just 11 million the amount of tokens that are were available to be sold on the market are going to be substantially less available i mean you're gonna i think i'm just on my head right here i think we're only about maybe 100 million tokens in the buy holder and wallet now we're almost 13. um yeah. i think the burn wallet was like another it's been about six or seven million tokens burned out of the um since we were at that point so you're gonna see somewhere about 20 million tokens that aren't even on the market to sell the next time we go to 11 million so it, it could it could pop up pretty fast okay. which is crazy because that's about what the, what the folder sold right that the dropped us down was 20 yeah, million? million tokens so now those tokens don't even exist i mean that doesn't even, that doesn't even account for i mean make the sound like this make the sound like really crazy that's not even accounting for the tokens that people have also accumulated they don't even plan on selling at those points because remember everyone else has gotten reflections too on top of that, you've got the buy hold on wallet that's been growing by about like 15 million. You've got the burn wallet that's actually grown by about six, seven million. Then you got all the other users that have accumulated tokens that um, have their own hold points. Then you have all the liquidity pools and tokens given on all the chains that are sitting out there too that aren't going to be like easily just moved back to Ethereum to sell because uh, maybe the amounts are too small. So I'm going to spitball guess here. But by the time we get back to 11 million, I'm estimating between 25 and 35 million tokens won't be on the market to sell from the last time we were there, something like that. And that's that's where it gets wild because they're just they're not available, you know, to sell on the market. And that's why it could be between 25, maybe 50 something like market cap. Um, but again, yeah, don't go in aping it, just DCA in uh, because. Uh, you know when you have less tokens in the v2 pool supply shock happens and you have these wild, wild parabolic runs because you know mm -hmm. people the green candle just keeps going up and up and up and since there's no swap liquefy contract sell function on the chart you can just start running and it can happen pretty fast especially now that we're on coin market cap we weren't even on coin market cap last time we were there so there's a, a lot of things would be different but the next time we go to 11 million it's going to be a lot of things are going to be different i think we might just blow past it because well, market cap didn't exist our contracts didn't exist with on coin market cap we didn't have um we didn't even have our contracts on coin gecko display for solana or or, or a bnb now we have those also um on coin market cap we have base chain um liquidity integration we're going to have avalanche there I mean, yeah. So I think looking at the chart and how everything's going, I mean, do you have a time frame where you think we could start going past all-time highs again? I could see us hitting an all-time high and probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 50 million or somewhere between 25 and 50 million sometime in June. I wouldn't be surprised with that. It could, it so could be sooner. Time and when? Um, and I don't know what that's at. That's probably like, what, 15 cents, something like that? I'm just making a wild guess. April, you think April? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But in April, it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Oh yeah, it happened. And I am seeing these projects do like millions of dollars, and I'm like, somebody's gonna say, "Hey, what about Mike and Adina's project?" Somebody's gonna be stupid and throw money at it. <laughs> what do you think about this, Olo? I'm a long-term player. I'm not thinking of nothing short. I'm thinking, where is Earn going to be in 24 to 36 months? That's where my mind is at. <laughs> that's where. That's where. That's what I'm running. Yeah. Yeah, this is short-term stuff. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't invest based off of Earn being at 15 cents by like April or June. I would just still. I would still keep to your strategy. Um, that's yeah, because when you go up and down, it doesn't freak you out. You know? 
mean, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's what I think that's what holders need to realize too is we're going to go through several up and down cycles, right? Because mm -hmm. just because how the liquid, liquidity is building is, uh, you know, once we hit 15 cents, right, that could be a trigger for somebody to sell, yeah. you know, because that's just what their that's just what their their plan was, right? Mm -hmm. Which and they sell and they just lowers it down. But the the coolest thing is how you guys are building liquidity because i know that when ag and i came in that was our, our huge thing we're like jesus christ guys your, your liquidity is so small but mm -hmm. it's 5 x we we started february so we're two months in there mark yeah so three months in and you guys have 5 x you we yeah, uh, ag and i were cool. talking about yeah. that yeah it is hyper yeah. deflationary tokenomics and the true hyper deflationary tokens that it it has a liquidity building mechanism when it comes to market cap liquidity ratio that when people look at it, it's not very apparent until you take screenshots repeatedly and then you can see it. <laughs> yeah. That, so, you know, I know that AG is a long-term holder. I'm a long-term holder. Our friends are long-term holders. So, I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong. When I open my wallet and it's <laughs> way down, it kind of sucks. But I, I, like Olo said, you know, I'm not thinking a month. I'm thinking three years, five yeah. years, 10 years, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and everything that you guys are doing, all the little amoeba hands that you guys are putting out that are grabbing on to little things. That's what's going to perpetuate the, the earn token. And you know. I think it's a better idea. I mean, some people will say, Oh, like, and it's interesting, the opinions of some that are like here today, gone tomorrow. Like, oh, you should pay this caller and pay this person a couple of you. And like, you know, and that's why I put in the, the well chat. I'm like, everyone is everyone, totally transparent. This is our options to talk about. I think, my opinion, we should expand liquidity to other blockchain because that yeah. creates, you know, the ability for us to be able to purchase more. And I want to point out, it's not even an expense. It's not costing us anything. But yes, yeah. let's talk about the idea of taking 50 grand and putting it on an exchange, which is an expense. You know, well, or on Reddit. I'm like, I want to hear it. <laughs> You know, when, when you pay influencers to, to talk about it, all that does is that brings in people that don't know what the project is, right? They just, they, they're, they, they're they influenced. They're influenced. They throw their money in. When it skyrockets, they take their money out, right? Yeah. Or if for some reason the price drops a little bit, then they get shaky hands and they sell, right? Perpetuating yeah. that red candle. So all these people that are saying pay influencers to artificially pump your token, in my opinion, is just stupid. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I think, think it's, it's awesome because change, though. Oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't like either one of them. I, in my <laughs> well, opinion. I mean, yeah. Pick your poison. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, the exchanges are, I'm always getting reminded, unfortunately with exchanges of them going out of business or even the thing with KuCoin where I'm like, I don't know if that's a great idea, right? I mean, yeah. I've, I've got a message by several, as our market cap moves around, we get people reach out to us making us offers. So I've gotten several offers from like Bell Bank, Bitmart, LA Token, Coin Tiger. But I look at these and I, I try to think, uh, MXC, I'm like, how would this just benefit the ecosystem? You're paying this yeah. make fee, which is a monthly bill. And then these users that are on these exchanges, you know, are they going to come over to the decentralized, uh, over, the, over to the on-chain? And then what happens if this exchange that we invested all this money in gets regulated and then they get thrown out, you know, and just go out and they're not going to give you the fifty or $100,000 back? <laughs> well, and, al and also, Mikey, I think the biggest thing that I, I, the biggest thing to me that's a negative about going to a centralized exchange is now they can control the point, the, the price, yeah. right? Because they're market making and they're, and they're buying and selling fake coins. You know, the best thing about being in decentralized pools is that there isn't that, that fake paper trading of the token. So I personally don't think we should ever be on, on centralized exchanges. Just keep doing what you're doing, find pools. And I'm, I mean, the, the token is going to take care of itself. Yeah, I think we're going to expand to different decentralized exchanges. I'm talking like SushiSwap. Um, we'll get different uh, chains on like Uniswap. I like PancakeSwap. Um, and just to expand it that way because those are exchanges. And, they, and Trader Joe is super cool on like what you can do on AVAX. And so, I mean, and that's just moving the liquidity around. That's not costing the protocol any money. It's just making it so that people that want to buy over there can. Because there's plenty of liquidity on ETH to do that. I mean, you don't need 
I mean, we get to the point where we have like a million bucks on ETH, which I expect us to have in the very near future. It's not necessary unless you have people coming in for one twenty, thirty thousand bucks of the thing at once. You know, but if people are, if you see most people are just doing like two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, some of that should go over the AVEX and some of that should go over to base chain or to BNB so that those large purchases can exist there too. Um, it's just kind of like getting a feel of what's what you see happening um in the entire ecosystem. But mm -hmm. the gradual approach I prefer, um, because yeah, like you know, although you said like we do think it's more like long term, how does this exist not just through the bull run? but into the bear market, into the next one. And I'll be honest, man, a lot of projects, a lot of really good projects, smart people are not gonna make it to the next bear market. They just straight up aren't gonna. I mean, they're gonna run out of money, they're gonna crash and burn, they're gonna oh, uh, oh, underestimate how long it's gonna be and what it's gonna cost. And that's gonna be the story of it. I mean, these sustainability models um, that people are trying to create for their ecosystems, it takes a lot of thought to put into it. Um, because, you know, these crypto markets can throw you a curveball, you know. I wasn't expecting Bitcoin to go to 3,000. I was not expecting Terra Luna to go under. I mean, that freaked me out. Celsius, BlockFi, we almost lost a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money on BlockFi. And I almost lost a lot of money. We, I told yeah, you, we, I we lot did lose a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Celsius lot of money really screwed us. us. I had my DeFi protocol hits, like what happened with Oh, well, open leverage was was similar, but that's what I've been really wary about using because I've lost this amount of money on something like Venus before, but it's been like staying clear of that. But there's a lot of these these damn booby traps out there that you don't know are traps. And so that's why I messaged in the chat today. It's like me personally, I don't feel like touching really many uh, leveraging lending protocols from my past experiences. And like if somebody comes up with a supply borrow platform like Celsius, Pretty sure a lot of people are not going to be like, "Oh yes, let's throw a lot of money on that thing. It looks good." <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just not going to happen. You know, people remember that it's too it's too recent. Mm. But uh, but they're going to pop up eventually, and there's going to be a lot of money that's lost. Which I hear like punk bot is getting exploited um, for like hundreds of thousands of dollars right now, and people are like, "Whatever, I still like it. It's fast, stupid <laughs> stuff like that." You know, like Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, a lot of money is going to be wiped out this bull run from a lot of people that make a lot of money. But it's just, yeah, you got to be careful. Um, hey, hey, you have to, you, 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 these projects just have to have a reason why. Like, that's mm -hmm. the problem. A lot of projects don't have a reason why. What are you here for and why am I buying your token? Simple and plain. What does it do and how does it help? What is it? And that's where everybody goes wrong. They can't answer that question. What does your token do exactly? <laughs> and this is why you're going to go out of business because you can't answer that question. Yeah, and so, and, but when you when you when it's when it's real value, you know what I'm saying? It it, it you're going to be able to sell real value in this next in this. And if you don't have it, like if you don't have that value, that's what's going to get tough. It's going to get super tough for any project. And there's and that's most projects that can't tell you the reason, real reason why you're buying their token and what that token actually does that's just what it boils down to it's not even that that slick you just and um but yeah yeah i mean that's the that's the, the truth of the matter a lot of ones that you see failing you're gonna go ah hey, you weren't really doing nothing though in the first place you weren't yeah. serving a real purpose you weren't solving a real problem you weren't really connected you didn't have none of the resources and networks and you know those things are going to play and to how a lot of projects kind of end up. But I think there's going to be a lot of shit that wins too that you wouldn't even expect, you know. And I, I think that I've just seen so much good shit too at the same time that I think is coming up. So it's going to be a hell of a, and this next cycle is going to be one hell of a thing to watch for sure. Definitely interesting. I mean, I think a lot of it too is like when I, when I listen to some people speak in the space that they're being in in a while, like Nina, Dina do, and you see there's a lot of, it's, it's, it's charlatan people that are just pretending to know what they're talking about and don't really know what they're talking about or <laughs> there's so oh, many there's that's, that's a lot of that <laughs> in, in the crypto space where like you listen to them speak about what they're what they're doing and explain to the technology behind their cryptocurrency project and you're like you don't know what you're talking about and then you realize that probably what happened was is that they probably heard about something 
chat GPT how to type it up. <laughs> and they try to use a token builder to create this thing that they have no damn idea how it really operates and works. And it's crazy because these individuals are really good salesmen. You know, they can really sell something and they make people believe that this is the best damn thing since sliced bread. And you see a lot of folks who gravitate toward that. And it's sickening because we watch it happen. We watch these projects go to like tens of millions really quick because they're really good at selling. And most times they're not fully doxxed or you don't have your identity, but some people don't care. They don't care that they're not doxxed. They just want to make money really quick. And this person's telling them they'll get rich tomorrow. And so I've seen this happen so many times with our project where people will come to us and say certain things that we're not doing that they're doing and then they go and then they get rubbed and destroyed and I'm like, yes, I didn't tell you this was going to happen, but you see how the hell that played out. But then they'll just go to the next one. And it's just that cycle that happens over and over again. Um, it's kind of, it's messed up. I mean, one of the things we joke about now in some of my private groups is a CTO. That's what people throw around all the time. The new CTO. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a CTO? It's community takeover. <laughs> <laughs> she's everywhere you know because you know so all the dev rugs and sold off all they know it the anonymous dev rug yeah. sold off all their wallets and left us with the project and like one how the hell do you know they sold off all their wallets if they're anonymous <laughs> so exactly. you right now saying this like but it's but it's a community but you're running the show now why doing this yeah it's just it's mm -hmm. messed up Seems but, to happen uh, all the time. It's so frequent. <laughs> I even in the space today with Rodney. I think I heard like five of these damn things. Yeah, new community takeover. I think I haven't said something in the recorded space. I, just, I was like, tired of you. Like, guys, seriously, stop putting on. And, and I can't say it, like, there's people that put real work and effort into making these things survive because they're they're invested. They're in heavy, right? They're probably like ninety five percent down, and they all band together to like went over on that anonymous dev to uh, get the market cap back up again. But all they're doing is feeding, you know, those wallets or that dev that's farming. They don't probably even know that the tax even goes to. Most of these guys don't even know how to read the blockchain and say, where's the money going? You're, you're, there's, there's, there's money being pulled out of this. Thing. But yeah, people don't have a plan. Most people don't care to have a plan because a lot of people sadly want to get rich quick. And there's a lot of, I say, the predators. They so what's your plan? Our plan? Yeah, what's oh. your plan? Yeah, so since we launched this, I told um, our community we wanted to do something, one, that can actually, like, I personally have never held a project, not even held, not even, not created, held a project, sub 10 million to a billion <laughs> market cap. So this is actually a way, actually, for like reputational building. One, it's a big goal to see if we can actually really do it. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a difficult thing to do organically with your name on it, you know? um and it takes time to do that and so i see this thing going to a billion dollar market cap the way we thought it all through and that's what we want to do and that's what we're we're doing we're doing this for that to make it to be you know one to five dollars per token in the next one three years and that's not fast enough i said something in the space today i told someone that and he's like oh that's not fast enough and like <laughs> I think that's in one to three years isn't fast enough like are you joking me and it's like, well, it's like well, people have issues. The bear one's been long. I'm like, I just said, it's at what? It's, it's at less than a penny. We're talking $5. But that's the thing. People believe that, you know, the space moves so much more quicker than that, or they've been told that by people showing their wallets. The thing is, I think there are just different types of people. And I think in crypto space, it'll need more people that actually can think about the technology itself. I think that they actually see something valuable yeah. in the tech and in the utilities that you can, can build with it. And that's still, I think it's just the majority is still people that think they can just gamble their way into like being a millionaire. But um, yeah, it will take time until like, you know, the majority of people actually have crypto because they think it's a good thing and because they can use it for the things they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but that takes time. It's not going to be in the next, Two years it's going to be in the next 10 20 years yeah and i think too like something that i find this is personally about like myself and also nadina we have fun doing this i mean i mean it's not as much for us about the money it's about like the relationships that we make um the technology that we learn i mean we're kind of giddy today talking about avalanche and 
all the different liquidity stretch, liquidity pool options and trying to figure out how to do it. Cause it's like, uh, you're building something from the ground up and it's cool to like do that. And I mean, it's, we're, we're just fortunate enough that we don't need to like stress out and, you know, have to make money off of it for it to survive. And that's the big thing for a lot of these projects. When your your volume gets too low, um, it's no longer feeding the devs, and, and they just pay to this, you know, uh, check out and go to something else immediately. But we're using this actually to like you know build rep and learn, <clears throat> grow, and create something cool. Um, I don't know I think it's gonna be really kick ass to say, you know, we took a project to a billion dollar market yeah. cap in a couple <laughs> of years. I mean. I don't know anyone who could say that. Yeah. Not docs anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hope to join the ride with you guys. Yeah. No. I know I'm, I'm, my bags are packed and ready to go. So. Yeah. I love people to stay on the ride. I said it a lot during 50K that it's going to be difficult for a lot of people to, to weather it because it's going to be very emotional. I mean, even someone with only a million tokens, just a million tokens. I mean, at like at a hundred million dollar market cap. I mean, you're looking at millions of dollars move around in your wallet. You know, you can imagine what it is at a billion. And so um, psychologically for a lot of folks, it's going to be pretty rough. I mean, I was talking to some oh, folks sure. that were talking about how much money was moving around um, that are on the first page, like in the top 50, just mm -hmm. between 11 million and 1 million, how much money was moving. And some, it's like more money than they make in a year was like going up and down um, in a matter of a couple of days. So, and that's only to 11 million. Imagine what it is at 100 billion. So it's, uh, that's why I tell people to DCA and try to like keep calm because, you know, in crypto, things move really, uh, move a lot faster than what you expected. Um, well, I mean, they, too. I mean, they DCA in, but they also need to take small bites on the way, on the way up too, right? So I think that's kind of what we were talking with Zach about is, you know, if you are, if you're up a hundred X, take some profit, right? Take, you know, maybe take your initial out. Then you're not concerned. I mean, you still are it's still your money. I, you know, don't, no doubt about it. I mean, like data, I was in data and it, you know, I opened up my account and it said $160,000 and I'm like, Oh my God, I got $160,000. But then I watched it go all the way down, <laughs> right? It went all the way back down to 10,000. It's know? rough. It's rough, man. I mean, like, that's why we spend a lot of time with the community talking about liquidity, talking about single side of liquidity options. It's get your pool set up now when things are boring and just park it there. And, you know, even on PancakeSwap B2, I made a post in our announcements channel. You can right now go to PancakeSwap B2, and you can set limit orders. And that's not, you don't have to deal with, if you're, people are worried about setting up liquidity and um, B3 with single side and then dealing with like, you know, that, you can literally just set up your, your limit order for your tokens at whatever price you want um, mm -hmm. and, and pancake swap B2. I mean, that's an option to do right now. And I think, yeah. I think the folks in Earn that are going to do very well are the ones that are educated the most um, and how this all works. Like they're going to have their, they're going to know exactly what their price targets are, you know, and that's personal. They're going to know how to set up these single side liquidity pools and they're going to know how to set up these limit orders. And then they're going to let the, they're going to let the, the money just get hit on the way up. You know, maybe they do, you know, uh, I don't know, like 2% at like every single 10 million on the way up. Right. And then it keeps on hitting those marks as, as it goes up some strategy like that. You know? So you're not just like selling everything at 20 and then, Watching it go to 100 and then buying all back in to get it 100, then it dips down to 20. You lose your shit, <laughs> you've lost a lot of money, you know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a wild ride for many, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for it. All right, Olo, do you got anything else to say? You want to you wanna talk about uh, City of Atlantis, Atlantis Corner? No, like I said, I'll, I'll keep the like I said, I'll pop in on, on you know, and keep highlighting you guys. This is like, you know, this we got a we got years more of work to go, you know, a lot more to go. And so like I said, no, we, you know, we um uh I'll become a uh a, um a known name around here after a while. You know, I always pop in and give some alpha on Mondays and 
you know, uh, give you guys yeah. little, you know, new pieces and updates as we kind of move along. And, you know, um, the goal is, you know, um, to, um, you know, you guys kind of like just go along for the ride, you know, and, and, and your the audience here kind of goes along for the ride and, you know, they kind of, everybody kind of sees us kind of put it all together brick by brick, you know? And so, yeah, no, I think, you know, uh, uh, there's more to come and so and over the weeks we'll just kind of keep rolling out little pieces to everybody nice nice yeah. ah, nice <laughs> nice yeah, remember to, to tune in tomorrow guys um we have our next um spaces nine o'clock a.m right central center time so tune in for that tomorrow um it lasts roughly an hour it's recorded we'll be popping on youtube and it's recording on spaces if you guys so, you said central time central standard time 9 a.m Okay. Even her son cooperates in the morning. Um, <laughs> 9 a.m. <laughs> it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. We do those nine a.m. Right. Monday through Friday on Twitter. And All right. Right. On, uh, YouTube too. I'll try to remember. Be remember, buy your uh, OX two 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 and OX two three seven. Flamingling bets is coming. We're gonna bet on uh, Tyson. And uh, I'm I'm hoping we can get the website started for the championship for the NCAA. Maybe that can be our first one. You don't think so? No, that's yeah, just right around the corner. I doubt it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's What's probably that? that's too close. Yeah. Oh. This is <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining the show, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check out Earn Token and City of Atlantis. ACM. Join join the Telegram. I posted it in the chat earlier. Yep, I see it now. Nice. All right. All right. And, uh, hey, stay tuned. We're going to take uh, all the names for next week. So we'll spin the wheel with the names on it. Yep. So next week someone was going to get a uh, a yard, right? Yep, City of Atlantis and NFT a yard. Did you give them a link to the black paper? They can see that. We'll put it. We'll put it in the note uh, comments. We'll oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, let them read that. Yeah, black paper. Sounds good. All right. See ya. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.